Radical Brad movie. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try this again. I'm not gonna play Jopo mode. All right, don't tell your parents. Oh, there they are. Oh, I'll be taking these. <laughs> you stupid piece of shit! <laughs> oh, this is fucking crazy! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is fucking crazy! Oh. <laughs> oh, you stupid piece of shit! We now return to as the chair turns. Okay. Why won't you ever rotate your chair, Samantha? All I ever asked of you is that you rotate your chair. Don't rotate I it. don't like rotating my chair. If you want this marriage to work, you'll rotate your chair, goddammit. Just use the right thumbstick to, and rotate your chair, Samantha. Yes, I know how to rotate, Reginald. I'm not an idiot. I know all I have to do is move the right thumbstick to the right or left to rotate my chair. I still refuse. What kind of wife doesn't rotate her chair with the right thumbstick? I want a divorce, Samantha. I want a divorce, too. <laughs> and you're keeping the kids because you don't respect me. You push me, and you push me to rotate my chair with the right thumbstick. Why can't you just respect that I don't want to rotate my chair? I don't want to be jiggling around. I don't want to do this. I don't care, Samantha. I need my wife to rotate her chair using the right thumbstick. I am a powerful, yellow independent yellow woman. And I won't use the right thumbstick on my controller to rotate my chair. I won't do it. If you it. want this marriage to work, you'll rotate your chair, goddammit. I am a strong, Just independent right yellow woman. And rotate your chair, Samantha. Yes, I know how to rotate, Reginald. I'm not... I'm not an idiot. I know all I have to do is move the right or right. stick to the right or left to rotate my chair. I still refuse. Well, you never interact with objects by looking at them and pressing R2. Like the things on the ground or the things on, on, on the desk, Reginald. Why won't you look at the things on your desk or on the ground and interact with them by pressing R2? Hmm? Just forget it, Samantha. We don't have time for this right now. The big staring contest is tonight. We need to practice if we expect to win. Yes, you're right. For once, Reginald. Yes, okay, oh, staring puppies. contest. No one talks. First person to blink loses. Starting right now. Are we starting? Do you just... Okay, one, two, three, two, one. Starting now. You have four messages. God, how meta is this? Two people with controllers in hand sitting in chairs as I watch them through the eyes of a man sitting in a chair with a controller holding a controller sitting in the chair in real life. You have four messages. Lag lover loses dogs. Cheropian lag lover. Who owned two disgusting fluffy white dogs has finally gotten you his from up when the giant beaked teal monster stole his dogs and put them in his eye holes and disappeared. This stupid piece of shit dog owner has locked himself in their you apartment and has refused messages. to comment on the reporter's article. Message two. Your lawyer here. Not looking good, I'm afraid. Because the dogs were yours and because they seem to be powering this monster, you may be liable. Call me. End of message. Message three. Hey, asswipe! Your rent is due! This isn't a 
Charity! End of message. Message four. Hey, it's Mom. I never did like those dogs of yours. I'm not surprised, to be honest. I mean, now they're powering that big old beak monster. Sweetie, it's a big mess. Anyways, call me back. End of message. Hey, hey, open up! Come out here! Get out here! Get, open up! Oh, God. Come on, open up! Oh yeah, this is definitely the right place. You're the one. Okay, listen to me. We don't have time to get into it right now, but you're coming with me. We interrupt this program for an important breaking news. A giant beak monster, you heard that right. A motherfucking giant beak monster has destroyed the science center, damn near half the city, stolen science equipment, microscopes, beakers, I'm talking about flames. Things are really crazy right now. Shit's all fucked up, and this goddamn beak monster has dogs that are plucked into its eyes, and they are powering him up above any power level I have ever seen. And he's scared people, my grandmother's afraid. All right, back to your regular schedule program. Man, you really, you, your dogs. You have no idea how fucked things are because of your two stupid dogs. Ugh. Oh my god, what? This is a power baby. You're gonna be seeing a lot of these throughout the whole game. I mean, I really love them. I got them in my eyeballs, you know? In my eye holes, I mean. So just here, look at this one that I just pulled out of my eye and, and it'll come to you. Just look at it and it'll come to you. <laughs> Alright, listen, you're gonna control me, man. Cause I'm tired, okay? I, you know how long it took me to find you? I'm exhausted. So you're in control. I, I'm like a remote control character now, all right? The blue light that's shooting out of the ground, that's called the warp node. No, 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 I gotta be on that thing, the warp. All right, and that's how we do it. Let's go. Ah, uh, you wanna soak this place in before we leave, huh? I, I get it. You know that monster that stole your dogs? His name is Glorcon. He's got your dogs plugged into his eyes like power babies. It, ma it made him unstoppable. So, this this is your digs, huh? This is your hood? What's rent like around here? Do you rent or do you own? Jeez, what's with all the purple? Do you guys have strict homeowners association guidelines? Or, or are you a bunch of fucking idiots? Haha, <laughs> just kidding, I'm, I'm purple. I like purple, obviously. But seriously, come on, we gotta go. You know, it took me forever to find you. Looked all over the place. Thank God, I'm gonna dump your ass off at my boss. I'm gonna get my space money. Then I'm gonna go to this place in my home world where I get all crazy messed up called empty peepers. But what do you know about that? You're just a dirty chair orpian. I'm sorry for being spacist. What about the same? What the fuck, man? Fuck this guy. Trump is an uh, asshole. <laughs> whoa! Whoa, 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 holy whoa, shit! Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Oh, well, look who it is. I'm locking you here and making a citizen's arrest. Do you not think I don't know who you are? Huh? Shake your head, yes or no. Answer me! What's the matter with you, Amps? No? Well, you're wrong. I do know who you are. You're the Cheropian with the dogs. Those dogs are in the eyes of that big monster, and it is fucking everything up now because your dogs gave him some kind of superpowers. So we have you to blame for this bullshit that we're going through right now. No, you don't. Do you feel sorry for what you've done? Oh, no, Answer shit. me. Yes or no? Do you feel any remorse? You're a heartless monster. It's bad enough you have the two dogs. Now you're hanging out with a purple walk person. It's unchair like, you know? It's against the chair members to walk. Man, I don't have time for this bullshit. I got a motherfucking sword. You threaten me, boy? I ain't for you. Come on, let's do it. Well, you should be. I'm turning asshole. those. Ah, fuck you, old Ow. man. Fuck. You I asked for I'm, this. I'm, I'm, please, you're gonna feel this tomorrow. Just stop hitting me. <laughs> I turned on your warp nodes. <laughs> Don't hurt me no more with the knife. <laughs> hey, it's elderly abuse time. Out. Uncle, uncle. You're, a, you're, a, you're an idiot. <laughs>
Oh, 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 man, okay, we're really gonna do this, huh? We're gonna murder. Hey, let's go for it. Shit, let's kill this motherfucker. Ah, shit, I'm dead. Ah, uh, shit, uh, I think we just killed him. We better get out of here. I don't want to get in trouble. Man, that was pretty fucked up. We need to get our story straight. He came at me with a knife, okay? No. All right, whatever. Come on, let's go. We just killed a guy. You just killed a guy. We just killed a guy. Can we please go? Have a shopping go down there. You are taking your sweet time like we're walking through a park. We just murdered. Can we move? You just murdered. I'm just in the chair and witnessed it. Now is not the time to stop and smell the roses. There's a dead corpse back there that we killed. We took a life. Can we please? We gotta move. What the hell? All the nodes are locked down again. Shit. We gotta look around and figure this out. Shit, this is the science building we saw on the news. Great. Look at all the stuff I got. Yeah, yeah, I got stuff too. Hey, what is Invention all this stuff for? Sitting. I don't know, but it's ours now. Hey, look, there's oh, something we can beat up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rumble with that person. Hey, oh, 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 the hell are these guys? Uh, I guess you gotta rumble. I hope you can handle this. You're gonna wish you never ran into whoever we are. Oh, my friend, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fucking murder you. You murdered my fucking friend. You murdered my friend. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Huh? Well, that's that. The inventor of black hole. <laughs> right, come on, let's go to the telepod. It's back the other way. The inventor of cloning. The inventor of clones, huh? The inventor of science. More like the inventor of being a fucking piece of shit. No, I'm just joking. That's pretty cool to have invented science. The inventor of sitting. What an invention. What did you guys do before him? Just stand the whole time? Boy, I'm blown away. I would have never expected that Chorerpian science is all about, is a lot of sitting involved. Yeah, you're, you're looking at the telepod right now. That's where we're going. Come fucking finally, we're at the telepod. Do I really have to come with you? This is the telepod. So telepods are, are, are how we get around, okay? That's how we travel in the cosmos. They teleport us to where we'd like to go. So we're gonna use it to go to my boss's office so I can drop your ass off, your stupid ass off, and get my space money and get the hell out of here, you know what I mean? And go live my life. Go ahead and hit the button to uh, teleport us to my boss's office. What? All right, go ahead and hit the button. Oh my god, what is it, that picture, Trophy? And that's when I woke up and realized she was dead. Oh, Trover. Okay, boss, I'm sorry it took me so so long, but here's the chair orpion uh, in mint condition, so I'll take my space money and be on my way. Thank you very much. Actually, Trover, some things have changed since we've last talked. I'm going to need you to stay partners with the chair orpion. Your job's not over yet. Come on! You said all I had to do was find the stupid chair orpion and bring them to you, and then, and then I'd get my space money. Trover, shut the fuck up. I have the abstainers on the hollow dish phone. <laughs> We are the abstainers. Holy shit, that's what the abstainers look like? They look just like the, the guy who's got the dogs in his eyes causing all this trouble. Shut the fuck up, Trover. No one needs to hear your commentary about everything. The abstainers would like to talk with the chair Orpion. It is true that we look like Glorcon. He was one of us. We were four, but he has broken free. Chair Orpion, is it true you were the owner of the dogs that power Glorcon? Yeah, it's definitely the right chair Orpion. You should have seen, seen their apartment. We're not talking to you, shitbag. We're talking to the chair Orpion. Are you the one that had the dog? Answer them. Nod, nod yes or no. Remember the whole old man nodding yes or no stuff? 
No, they say no. They say they're not the one. Trover, is this true? Did you just bring up some useless random Cherorpion? Dude, no, wait, listen. They're the one. Cherorpion, don't fuck with the abstainers. You know, this is, a, this is a real honor right now. Yes, please, do not fuck with us. Tell us the truth. We await your answer, please. Are the dogs yours? They're not the one? We need to meet this Cherorpion face to face. You must come to our home world, our inner sanctum. Wow, whoa, your inner, the inner sanctum void, wow. Nobody's ever been to the Abstainer's inner sanctum. Oh, mama. This is going to be, that's going to be quite a, a little deluxe travel package. How does somebody even get to the Abstainer's inner sanctum? You must find the crystal of Ithacles. It is located in a place called Schleamy World. Oh, oh, I know where Schleamy World is. All right, okay. All right, Trover. Now, I'm sure you can see better as to why you, I needed you to stick around. We need you to protect this Cherorpion. You and the Cherorpion are a team. You're partners now. You're together. You're you, you're gonna need to go get that fucking crystal in from Schleamy World so that you can meet the abstainers face to face. Once you retrieve the crystal of Ithacles, you can plug it into the telepod. It will get you access to our inner sanctum. We must meet this Cherorpion in person. It's of the utmost importance. Okay, all right, we got it. Jesus, Cherorpion. Uh, go ahead and hit the button on the telepod there uh, to teleport to Schleamy World. Yeah, Jesus Christ, man. Fuck. This is bullshit. Trevor, I don't want to hear any bullshit from you. Fuck you. Yeah, all right, okay. You should have fucking let me know that this was po a possibility. I don't like surprises. Trevor, there are higher things at stake here than, than that right now. So quit being a little baby and do as I ask. I'm your boss. I'm the one who pays your bills. Man, we had a deal and you're changing it Cherorpion, up. Cherorpion, hit the button on the telepod. I don't want to hear Trover anymore. Okay, we're going to hang up now. Good, good luck. You know, we had a deal, man. You know, you uh, bring back the Cherorpion, get some space money. That was the deal. Trover, there's bigger things at stake now. I don't know what you were going to go do, but whatever it was, it was going to be supplied by my space money. Whatever recreational activities that you were so excited to go do that now you can't do that, that are making you so upset... That was gonna be paid for by my space money. Just like everything in your in your little shitty existence is funded by my space money. So I need you to shut the fuck up and do what the fuck I tell you to yeah, do. Yeah, okay, I'm I'm doing it. I but am I I I I just don't like surprises. You know, I know I'm work for hire, but just let me give me a heads up. You know, g tell me there's the chance that this could turn into a bigger job. Fuck yeah. I don't give a shit about what you just said. Shut the fuck up and just chair orpian will you hit the button on the telepod get the fuck out of here Go do the work find the fucking crystal of Ithacles and plug it into the stupid telepod so you could go Meet face to face with the abstainers get the fuck out of here shit is fucked up right now Hit the button on the telepod to trap to, 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 to go way. to the Shlemy world press the button so we can get the hell out of here fuck you boss You're a piece of shit Jesus, man, Jesus, fucking, that guy's a fucking asshole. Man, I didn't, I didn't sign up for this shit, you know? And now the abstainers are involved. Fuck, man, the, the, the abstainers, man. Imagine every time you've jerked off, they, they've seen it. Every time you, 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 they watch, they know, they literally can describe to the minorest detail every time you've taken a shit. They know every single moment. They know everything. They've seen everything. I don't like them. I don't, I, I don't, I, I, they make me uncomfortable. The abstainers. Hey, press the telepod button so we can get out of here. <laughs> press the telepod button so we can get out of here. Mr. Pop-Up and I need your help. All right, who, who is this guy? I told you I'm Mr. Pop-Up. I called a number. I, I don't know who I called. They're just supposed to come and help me. All right, well, it's not us. Now, now leave. Now, fuck off. There's a man named Michael and he, and he built a house on the bluff and, and that's not zoned for residential usage. It's zoned for public use and I'm very upset about it. We don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. It's got nothing to do with us. We got our own shit to deal with, all right? You gotta help me out. 
I can't do anything. This guy, Michael, he's a total asshole. He's he's treated me like shit my whole life. Good. Now go away. No, it's bad. He thinks he's hot shit and can do whatever he wants. It's not fair. Sitting up there in his, in his red house, I would have built my house up there, but I didn't because I know how to follow the rules. You're disgusting. You're naked. Go away. I know you guys will help me if I just keep at it. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. That's what my mom taught me as a baby. If I kept crying, she would eventually give me more nipple milk. I learned that at a very young age, if I'm really loud and abrasive and complain, I'll eventually get what I want. I'm gonna rip that little band-aid that's covering up whatever's under there and put it on your mouth. I'm sorry you don't like me. I, I really am, but I need your help and, and you're the only people here. So if you just help me, then I'll go away. Otherwise, you're just going to have to deal with it. I'm Mr. Pop-Up, and I got no one else to, to turn to. <coughs> Are you mentally handicapped? What's wrong with you? Do you know what bothers me the most about Michael? His inability to listen. Do you hear yourself right now? Did I mention Michael masturbates right, in public? Let's, let's go. I let's saw go. it. We got, it was we got, we gotta get out of here. Room, which is technically on public property and guess what that's also against the law why were you watching him masturbate i wasn't I, I i i wasn't watching him masturbate i was trying to admire the view the view on the bluff but his house was in the way so i didn't i didn't i didn't leave because i shouldn't have to that bluff is for the community not for michael's private time moments it's unfair and someone needs to stop it this guy's a peeping tom I am an upstanding citizen. Michael is the criminal here. A man like that can't be trusted. A man with no honor oh is God. worse than dead. Michael needs to be taken care of and not and not in a nice, helpful way. He needs to learn that there are repercussions. There are consequences. If you break the law, you should be punished. He needs to be punished. Shut the fuck up. The zoning laws are very clear. You know, like, have you ever played The Sims? There's there's residential, there's commercial, and <laughs> oh, I, I, hold on, I'm choking on something here. I'll be right back. Jesus, I hope whatever he's choking on kills him. Jesus, that was kind of nice. All right, nice. you got it. Let's keep going. Got rid of him for a moment. There's a bunch of little gremlins over there. They just killed me. Y you see the hearts on, on, on your controller? When those go down to zero, I die. And if you find any red power babies, those things will give me health. The more important thing is we focus on finding the crystal of Ithacles. Oh, looking for the crystal of Ithacles, huh? Well, I have the crystal of Ithacles right here. I'm the one who has the crystal. Big surprise, big reveal. Holy shit, how did you get that? The abstainers gave it to me like 50 years ago to hold on to. You guys want it? You guys need this? Of all the people that have it, yes. We need it, please. Okay, well now you have to do what I say. Get that guy shove Michael it up his ass? off the bluff. Here, I'll, I'll help you out. You're gonna need a chair upgrade because you can't even see over this log. So I'm gonna give you a chair upgrade. Here it comes. Your chair upgrade. Hey, what the hell? You lunatic! You just spit all over the chair. No, no, no. I, I just gave him a chair upgrade. It's it's how we do things around here. I, we spit. Pop up with me. It's your new magical chair upgrade. Pop up! Yeah, pop up with me! Come on, you can pop up! Okay, good! Now do it okay, again! Okay, good! You do you see the house? Use your blinky blinksters and look at it! It's way back there! You have to see it! Don't you see it? It's the house with smoke coming out of the chimney! Jesus, have you have you never seen a house before? It's, it's, it's right there! It's right... Okay, great! That's Michael's house. That's the house I need you to destroy. Now don't forget, pop up or down if you need a better vantage point. Don't be stupid. Don't be a jerk. Use the pop-up ability often. Without it, you're screwed. Missing a hard jump? Pop up. Can't see where to go next? Pop up or down. I'll be back soon. Now go get rid of that goddamn house and the crystal is yours. I missed the pop-up and I want justice! Mr. Pop-Up sucks. Mm. 
right, listen, if you ever lose track of me, press down on R3, and your chair will focus right on me. That's the connection from the Power Babies. Yep, see, now you're focused on me. You don't have to move the camera to follow me around anymore. We're getting the riot act. All right, listen, if you ever lose track of me, press down on R3, and your chair will focus right on me. That's the connection from... Fuck you, quit jumping me off a cliff. All right, listen, if you ever lose track of me, press down on R3, and your chair will focus right on me. Oh, crap. Oh, easy, easy. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, this is a gate. You got to solve a puzzle or, or do something else. You can't ru rush through it. All right, so... Oh crap. Well, this is as far as we go. Oh shit, look look above the gate. One, one of these things got a thumbs up on it. But, oh yeah, I, I see I see what you're looking at up there. Three buttons. Ooh, that's a lot harder than one button. Jeez, that's three buttons. I don't know. That's rough. That's pretty hard. I don't know how you're going to be able to figure that one out. Whoa, holy shit. We got two green thumbs up. <laughs> one more puzzle somewhere. Try try popping up higher. I bet Whoa, whoa holy shit, dude. <laughs> I can see that puzzle from down here. That that's insane. That's an insane puzzle. I mean, what the hell? Oh, what the fuck? You doing all right? Jesus, I don't know. Sh should we check online? I mean, maybe there's a strategy guide online. What the hell were they thinking? What the hell were these with the developers thinking with all these buttons? That's not fun. This isn't fun. This isn't a good game. Just a bunch of buttons. It's lazy. Fuck this, dude! Come down! C come back down! C f screw this shit! Screw this shit, man! Just come down! We're not messing around with this! We're not messing around with buttons! No way! Uh-uh! I'm fed up! I waited around at this gate too for far too long! Let's just bash it down! Ba bash the gate down! Fuck that puzzle, man! Let's let's just knock this shit down and we'll strong arm it! Yeah, screw that gate! <laughs> I totally wasn't. I have no idea. Being a chair opening is kind of stuff. Alright, this is what I'm talking about, man. Thank you. Hi. Mm, fresh water, boy, oh boy. Hey, holy shit, there's a- there's one! A green power baby! The green ones are super important to me! Cherorpion, just look at the green power baby for just like a little tiny bit! Oh, right, green power baby! Mama's gonna get stoned! Oh, yeah! I need a red power baby! Help. Oh, what the hell? Man, once this adventure's over, I'm gonna be wasted for a while. Oh, yeah, green power, baby. You done did it. Found a couple of them. I really done did it. Alright. Hey, excuse me. How's it going? My name's Tony. I'm Upgrade Tony. I got a real issue over here, if you guys wouldn't mind just uh, checking in with me. I got a real issue right now. Hey, yeah, what's the problem? I got these little ankle biters over here that are trying to kill me. It's giving me anxiety. Okay, well, what do you want us to do? I want you to kill them. If you kill them, I'll give you this awesome Power Baby upgrade that gives you a double jump and a glide. You can glide around with a double jump. It's so much fun. It's the funnest thing you've ever seen. Oh, man, I I've always wanted a double jump glide Power Baby upgrade. Yeah, I bet you do. If you kill these ankle biters and elite me of miss all this stress and anxiety I've got and panic attack then I'll give you this power baby upgrade the upgrade power babies are the most powerful ones uh, my favorite kind of power baby we got to take care of this yeah why don't you take care of this stuff you could be a fucking stupid little bitch about it <laughs> what what the fuck are you doing no 
Those were my pets. What are you, what are you out of your fucking mind? You just told us to kill them. What are you talking about? I told you to kill the ones in the courtyard. The wild feral ones. The ones you just killed were my domesticated pets. They were my friends. Well, Jesus, man, you gotta be a little more specific. Shit, dude, I'm sorry. You know what? I don't even care anymore. Take your fucking upgrade here. It's on the fucking counter. I don't even know why I'm giving it to you. But here, here it is. Take your stupid upgrade. Okay, check this out. Watch this. This is crazy. You fucking eat each other. You see this shit? He's eating the other ones. Fucking insane. That's what they do when you put them close together. Isn't that crazy? And all the powers are now in, in, in combined into this one power baby. And here we go. We're ready to double jump, baby. We got the double jump now. You fucking murderous, evil bastard monsters that killed my fucking best friends. I'm gonna. I gotta go. I gotta move. Out. I gotta pack up. This place has too many memories. I can't live here. I can't be here. I can't have my stand here no more. This place has too many memories. It just reminds me of my friends that you killed. You're the definition of monsters. Like that movie with the one actress who played the monster woman who killed men. I'm out of here. Jeez, we really ruined that guy's day. But hey, I can double jump now and glide around. This is fun. Let's play with this new upgrade. Yahoo! Yip diddy dee! Pop up! Pop up so you can see better! Press the jump button, and then when I'm at my highest peak, press it again. And then hold it down, and you'll- Whoa, you did it! I knew you could do it! I believed in you! Together or not at all! That's my new phrase, together or not at all, partner! That's nice. Partner on the green power baby, sick. Hey, I'm Mr. Pop Up. What's taking you guys so long? Are, are you guys lost or something? It's your friend, isn't it? He's dead weight. He's like a broken wagon wheel. You gotta get rid of him. You should partner up with me. I can float. What can he do besides solicit oral sex to naive tourists? Sure, there's no proof that he does it, but it doesn't mean it's not true. It's like vaccines causing autism. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Model airplanes. Oh, that's a weird thing to talk about. Look at him walking around like a purple idiot. What an idiot. He, he doesn't deserve you. He, and you know what? You, we, we should kill him. It'll be so easy. We'll, we'll do it right after he pushes M Michael's house over the, over the bluff. He'll peer over the edge, and then we'll give him a slight nudge. And if anyone asks, we'll say he jumps. Okay, excuse me. Hold on a second. What, what is going on? Fine. I'll leave. But hurry up. I really want that house off the cliff. We should probably go over to the left and, and check out that area because there might be so, like a green power baby or two and those are really important for me, man. It means a lot to me. You don't understand. Like, I need some skin in this game too, you know? Oh man, this means a lot to me, dude. These green power babies are like my fucking... This is what keeps me pumping. Right, this is what I'm talking about, man. Thank you. Anyways, like I was saying, it's like tipping an Uber driver. Plus, they get me really high when I have them in my eye socket. Like, I get really high off of the Power Baby's energy. It's like uh, when shamans make you drink ayahuasca to reflect for 24 hours on the spirits that are haunting. You did it. You murdered my pets and the wild ones. But I, I don't get it. They look the same to me. Yeah, well, they are the same, except for my pets were domesticated, you murderer. Don't you even know how pets work? Yeah, I, I know. I, it's just, you, you gotta be more specific, okay? You didn't even listen to me when you came up here. You just ran past me and killed my pets. Whatever. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go mourn the loss of my little pets. They used to sleep with me. They used to sleep in my bed. There was Bobby, Fluffy, Scampy. I just drank 64 ounces of pure heaven. This is the perk of the job. All right, so look, there's these flowers that open when you look at them, and then and then they bounce me up. 
Totally fucked. Who the hell are you? We're clones of Glorcon. You can't stop us. There's tons of us. There's a whole bunch of us, and we're gonna kill you. We're gonna murder you. you you're not gonna get through. You're gonna get very far with us around. There's so many of us. You you could kill a couple, but we're just gonna keep coming at you. Hey, did you tell them about how they're not gonna get very far? No, I forgot. Shoot. All right. You're not gonna get very far. Hold on. I wanted to say okay, it. Okay, hold on. All right. You go. You say it. You're not gonna get very far around here with us around. All right. Now let's attack. Attack. Kill them. Get them. Uh, you're gonna fucking die now. Oh, fuck you up. Oh, fuck. Yeah, enough of it. I'm over. Ah, you, you died. You, he died. Oh, what are you gonna do? Ugh. Sorry, dude. Yeah, yeah enough of it. I'm over. Die by my well, this guy's crazy. Stop him. <laughs> Kill them all. Let, let's keep going. Uh, what the hell? Stop you from getting any further. We're just gonna keep. Whoa, working. whoa, hey, get him! Get him! Fuck this shit! Uh, I'm gonna uh, fuck you up, huh? Uh, yeah, you can't do nothing about me over here. I'm a tough customer. Get over here, you son of a bitch! Whoa! These green power babies collecting them. This is what makes me devoted to you oh, and your shit. cause. You know. Gotcha. Okay, enough of that. Yeah. Uh, fuck you. Uh, fuck you. Yeah. Hey, what the fuck? Uh, uh, no, you cut my friend with a sword. Oh. Too easy, man. Get it? Glorcon is cloning us at his secret base and warping us in. There's a coming him. after your fucking ass. Oh, you killed him. Zoom. My... Oh, you fucking cherubim. Fuck. You ain't gonna stop this tough customer. You know, I kind of almost feel bad for these guys. Somebody give me a money dollar. Someone give me a money dollar. Partner, hit the R3 button. It'll focus your vision on me. Oh! Oh! Hello, I'm Mr. Papa. Did you forget me? Would you get the fuck out of here? You almost got me killed. Me? My bad. I just wanted to remind you to get rid of Michael's house and I will give you the crystal of it, the please. What an asshole. He is despicable. How you guys doing? 
This is my house. This is where I live. It's in a properly zoned area. This is where residential houses are allowed to be. And Michael's house, you're going to destroy it. Otherwise, you won't get this. The crystal of Ithacles. Anyways, good luck, you fucking shit fucks. Fuck you. I'm going inside. Man, that guy's an asshole. Shitty shit! Fuck, asshole! Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah! Yeah! That one's good! Yeah, keep going with that, yeah! Yeah, I like it! I like it! You little shitty shit! Fuck, asshole! Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah! Yeah, that one's good. Yeah, keep going with that. Yeah. Disgusting. Oh shit, yeah. We just got a green power baby, man. Yeah, we're gonna stop you from getting any further. Don't slam attack us, though, please. Yeah, yeah just whatever now. you do, don't use your slam attack. It'll hurt us. Oh, like one... Ugh, fuck you. Jesus Christ, this looks like it's gonna be tricky. Try not to get me killed. Oh, well shit, that worked. G good, good job. Oh, look who it is, Thelma and Louise. I hope you guys are happy. I just buried my pets that you murdered. You fucking monsters. I moved up here and created a new life for myself to get away from people like you. And here you are. I can't be safe anywhere. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Hope you guys fucking die. Oh! I fucking fucking kill you by the end of this ignorant prick. Trover and the Cherorpion. You think you're going to be able to defeat Lorcan's minion? Fuck you up. All right, everybody, attack! supposed to be the best. He told me I would be the one to stop you. No, fuck you. Man, Glorcon's not fucking around sending all those clones after what? us like that. All right, well, well, we're basically at Michael's house. Let's go. Whoa, we just got a fucking another green power, baby. Michael, come out! Hey, come out here! Knock, knock, hello! What? What do you want, man? This is a private event! I don't give a shit! 
We're here to push your house over the cliff. Oh, 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 you're pushing this house over. This one right here. Yeah, give me one sec. The fuck are you doing? What is that? Is that, is that shit? Oh, sorry about that. I guess I forgot what direction my toilet was in. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Get the hell off my property. This is a private event. Look, asshole, we need the crystal of Ithocles. Mr. Pop-Up said, Mr. Pop-Up? Crystal of Ithocles? Shit, that guy's just pissed because I ate his family. Wait, seriously? That's right. But what Pop-Up needs to realize is that we're all just meat. Their energy is still around. I just ate their meat, okay? Energy never dies. Their flesh can be consumed, but their spiritual energy is still in the cosmos, you fucking assholes. Tell you what, I'll give you my crystal of Ithacles right here. If you knock that boulder over the cliff on a Mr. Pop-Up's house and kill him. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go back inside where I have a, a whole mess of pregnant ladies strapped onto the floor where I'm using an intricate network of fluids to inject into their bodies and induce early birth so that I can consume the flesh of their fetuses, okay? Is that okay? Jesus, another one of these types. Cherubian, turn me facing you so we can talk for a second. All right, listen, I wasn't even supposed to be here. What do you want to do? Do you want to kill Mr. Pop-Up? We, 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 we got to kill somebody. We got to pick one because I want to get the stupid shard of Ithacles and get out of here. Okay, so what, do, what, are, you, what are you thinking? Do you, you want to kill Mr. Pop-Up? Come on, partner, like we did with the old man. Yes or no? Like, nod your head yes, or shake your head no. Yes or no? Like, nod nod yes for yes, and shake your head no for, for no. Hello? Did you hear me, partner? It's a yes or no question. You know what? I'm with you. I agree. That little pop-up guy was super annoying, flying around in our fucking face. So, okay, just just to be super sure, we're going to kill Mr. Pop-up, right? So, you want to kill Michael then? Okay, yeah. I mean, the guy, this guy, Michael, is talking about injecting fluids into pregnant women and inducing pregnancy and eating the, their babies. I mean, I, I see where you're coming from. Okay, so, you want to kill Michael then, yeah? Listen, we gotta kill one of them, okay? We can't be pacifistic here. We need that stupid crystal of Ithacles. Now, this guy Michael threw shit in your face. Is that something you're into? You like getting shit all in your mouth? And I saw it get in your mouth. I saw you swallow some of it. Listen, I won't judge you. Is that... Are you into that? Is that is that like a thing you you like that? Is that why oh you don't want to kill God. him? You got your little rocks off when he threw his shit in your mouth. I won't judge you. I'm asking you. I don't. I'm getting to know you. I don't know you. You don't know me. We don't know each other here. Just what? Seriously? What the fuck is wrong with you? That's disgusting. Man, you are a weirdo. That is weird. Okay. I'm just, I'm calling it like I see it. Jesus, you're, you're, you're a kindred spirit with this Mr. Michael guy in the, in the house here. Maybe because of that, we should probably go kill Mr. Pop-Up. Yeah, Cherorpian, you want to go kill Mr. Pop-Up? <laughs> okay, listen, I've had it. Uh, th th this whole complex, dumb dialogue tree, nod your head yes or shake it no bullshit, I'm over it. We're not doing- you and I are never gonna do this again, okay? We gotta pick one of them. I say we pick the guy behind us, the weirdo who's eating babies. It'll save us a walk. Okay, alright, let's just kill Mr. Pop-Up, the yellow floating fairy who spits magic pop-up dust onto people. And we'll leave the guy who's injecting pregnant women with serums to induce labor and eating their babies alone. Because why would we do anything with him? Let's go. Let's go get pop up. Here it goes. Dude, what the hell? Knock it off. What are you doing? We just agreed to kill Mr. Pop up. You know what? Whatever. Seriously, stop. You're fucking done, man. You're done. All right, man. Here we go. This is going to be fun.
man, that's a big ass boulder. Fuck yeah, we're taking Pop Up out. Well, we did it. We we killed Mr. Pop Up. Hopefully his uh his his spirit energy is is reunited with his family or whatever. All right, let's go over to that house where Michael is and get the crystal from him. Cause you know Pop Up's not gonna have the crystal cause he's dead and it's. Cr oh, it's you! Did you actually do it? Did you actually kill Mr. Pop-Up? Jesus, I was just messing around. Those crystals are, are everywhere. You could have picked one right up the ground. But then where's the fun in that? You murderer! Here, take your blood crystals and go. And use that special warp note over there. It'll get your tasty ass back to your telepod. I gotta get back inside. A couple of these pregnant ladies are about to pop up my afternoon snack. <laughs> I gotta tell you, you know, you surprised me back there, Chair Orpian. I didn't think you had what it takes to kill somebody. You know, I thought you were just a baby that needed their hand held, you know? But I was wrong. You got some grit. Oh, no, I can't even kill them both. <clears throat> All right, let's move. You missed a pop. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, wow, we teleported. We're here. Holy shit. What, th there's crystals everywhere. How do we miss all these? But did we not notice these before? They're all over the place. And there's a crystal. Look, there's uh, there's crystals there. Ugh. All right, I'm plugging the crystal of Ithacles into the telepod. All right, listen, we're back in the telepod and the first order of business is let's store some of those green power babies. All right, so. Just rotate around until you see the, the the big red button. That's the power baby suction button. Just ro you'll find it. Just rotate around until you see the big red button. You're gonna be doing this all the time, so you better just get used to it. Do it. Oh shit! You got enough green power babies to get me a. Uh, a new hit point, a new health point. Oh my god, I'm gonna, now I can take more damage. Oh, see, that's what happens when you collect these green power babies. All right, okay, we're, we're really rocking and rolling. All right, partner, good work. More green power babies, but, you know, there's still, there's still some more to, to track down. You know, there's, there's, there's a handful of, of power babies still lurking about here, this place. And I'll tell you, you're gonna regret not getting them because there's a real cool prize. Oh shit, you better answer that, partner. That's probably the boss. Trover, chair person, good work. You got the crystal, and it looks like Trover's already installed it and upgraded the telepod. Now you just have to teleport to the Abstainer's home world, Inner Sanctum. Very rare opportunity for anyone. Good work, guys. Uh, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Jeez, Chair Orpian, I gotta admit, I never saw you, I never thought you had it in you to cold bloodedly murder somebody like that. Whew, glad I'm not on your bad side. You know, you're gonna do pretty good out here in this cosmos, you know? You're gonna do pretty good when we part ways right after this next part of the game. When we split up. Because I'm going my way and you're going your way. And they're not intertangled at all. And that's all I gotta say about that. Hell yeah. Except for a piece of paper. We've done it. Alright. Let's go on a teleporting adventure. Jeez, this is where the abstainers live? In a giant foggy void? Must be nice. What are you doing? Come see, talk to us. We are the abstainers. We request your presence. We must talk to you in person we're very interesting to look at 
You'll want to see us. Trust me. You'll want to. You'll want to come and be in our presence. It's cool. It looks cool, especially in virtual reality, because you'll you'll be able to look around and feel a strong sense of presence, like you're actually here. So come to our inner sanctum and talk to us, please. We have things to speak with you about. We are the abstainers. We could talk more about a bunch of inside shit, but you know, whatever. We're the abstainers. Just come to hang out. Come and hang out with us. Let's just chill out. What are you doing? You're just fucking around. Ah, they have arrived. Welcome, Trover. Yeah, uh, yeah, thanks for having us. You know, I, I really dig your place. Do you own it or rent? Silence. Ah, oh, yes, welcome. It's true. The dogs were yours. The bond you have is strong. You are the chair-bound one. He who is dis destined to defeat Glorcon. We, we are, are the abstainers. abstainers. We see all. We know all, but we can no longer be sure of the future. Slow talker. Now that Glorcon has broke free, he was one of us. We were four in total. Now we're just three. I mean, it's a bunch of bullshit, really, if you think about it. He fucked us. Now we're three. We abstain from interfering with anything, because we don't fuck with shit. And we're the abstainers, and we abstain from stuff. Um, listen, so, the clones, we, we've been running into Glorcon clones. They said a bunch of bad stuff is coming. Oh, oh, jeez, oh my god, oh, 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 that's bad, that's just bad stuff, that's a bad sign. Uh, this means Glorcon is proceeding with his plan to destroy the universe, the cosmos, everything. Wait, what? what? D destroy the whole cosmos? That's right, you little purple hunk. And you two together are our, our only hope. Uh, you must collect Glorcon the clones. You must collect their guts. We will be able to use that to peer into Glorcon's mind so we're able to see what his next moves are. It's the only way we can stop the horrible things from happening. What are you talking about? Us? I, I don't want to deal with this. Get the fuck out of here. Hurry. Get the fuck out of here. Just to reiterate, we are the abstainers. We used to be able to see all timelines. Every version of reality we could peer into. We abstain from interfering with everything. Now that Glorcon left, we're broken down. We can't see anything. We don't know what the fuck is going on. We need to peer into Glorcon's mind so we know what his plans are. So that we can stop It's a him. bunch of bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. We weren't expecting it. We weren't planning for it. It's fucking fucked up. It's like if you if your car broke down on the freeway and you're like, fuck, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't planning for this today. I, I, I had a whole bunch of shit to do. That's the experience we're living in right now. This is fucking bullshit. We are abstainers. We abstain from things. We are very zen. We are zen creatures. We are large. We're weird. We're sci-fi. I mean, what do you what more do you want from us? Go, hurry, go collect Glorcon's clones DNA. Get the Glorcon DNA, take it to Voodoo Person. Voodoo Person will chime it with delicious voodoo science so that it's all prepped and ready for us so we can use it to connect to Glorcon's mind. And if we can connect to Glorcon's mind, we can see what he's doing and so on and so forth. You get the idea. Get the fuck out of here. We already said this. Go out of here and go to the place that you need to go. You stupid piece of shit. All right, en enough of this. Let's let's get the show on the road. Come on. All right, that's it. Enough talking. We must meditate. Are you ready to meditate, my fellow abstainers? Yes, yes let, let us meditate. Oh, 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 oh,
Gorkon juice or whatever. The Gork Gorkon clone guts. We gotta go. We gotta go do this mission. Okay, cool, let's get out of here. All right, that's probably the boss calling. You, you should answer the phone. Hello, hello, uh, what's going on? Boss, we're in some deep stuff over here. The stakes have been raised. Glorcon's trying to destroy the whole universe and the abstainers want us to stop it. <clears throat> Hold on, Chover, shut the fuck up. Let me talk to the Chair Orpian here. Chair Orpian, is it true? Have the stakes been raised? Well, according to the Cherorpians, the stakes have not been raised. Huh? What? Come on! There's a special place in hell for people like you, Trover. If I were married, I would kill your wife. Huh? No, uh, they, uh, the stakes have definitely been raised! Well, Trover, that makes 50% of the two of you that believes that. As for the other 50%, they believe the stakes have not been raised. And that's... Uh, so I'm just gonna have to sit here on the sidelines and not be too worried about any of this. Why would you... Why? Why? Trover, shut your stupid little mouth. We don't have time for this. Trover, what are you gonna do? You gonna fucking sit on your little pansy ass while the whole cosmos gets blown up and destroyed? Or are you gonna fucking pony up? You and the Chair Orpian are the only hope. The abstainers said it to me earlier. I didn't want to tell you about it. You were bitching and moaning. You're gonna go to Shroomia, and you're gonna find Doopy Duper. He has a cauldron, a vessel, a little receptacle, whatever. I need you to fill up the Glorcon clone guts into the cauldron and, and come back to the telepod, all right? Now get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna go shoot some hoops. You know the stakes have been raised. Shit's been all crazy now with the stakes that are, they're raised. Their stakes are raised really high. Man, I thought we would be wrapping it up back there. You know, this is turning out to be a way bigger deal than I thought it would be. You know, listen, I'm a whole monster. You're a Cherorpian. We're not meant to be a team, but we're partners now. You hear that? I acquiesce. We're partners. I don't want to be together with you, but we are. And we're in way over our heads. So, you know, just don't screw anything up. Let's just do what we came to do, all right? All right, here we are. Here in, here in shit land. About ready to get shit on. All right, boss said that Doopy Duper would would have the cauldron, the magical vessel or whatever that we need to get. So keep your eyes peeled for that house. Normal, regular, single story, ranch style home, the two car garage. Great, more pissed off things that want us dead. Fantastic. How much this means to me, man. Whoa! Whoa, you just got another green power, baby. Dude, you are making my day. Hmm, green power babies. All day. All night. Boring, we're just doing our jobs. We are clones of Glorcon. Yeah, but I'm bored. I don't want to stand here all day. I'm bored. I don't want to go do stuff. You're doing stuff right now by guarding this section of the of the area. Don't tell me what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. And nothing's happened so far. We've been here for how long? I'm tired. I'm tired too. You know, you're right. You're finally- Whoa! Well, well. Well, look who it is. We got ourselves a little purple eye hole monster in a chair orb. Whoa, whoa, look at this little character popping up, getting in our face over here. Partner, do you see Doopy Duper's house in there? Single story, Doopy Duper's place? What the fuck are you guys talking about? Get the fuck out of here. There's no fucking Doopy Dupers around here. You fucking idiots. Yeah, why don't you pop? You, you, you see his house in there? His house is actually in there. You're fucking lying to your purple partner down there. This is the fucking where anyone lives. This is the fucking fort. This is the Glorcon base of operations on this fucking place. This is our fucking secret fort. High five. Yeah, you told him. All right, well, come on, partner, let's go. We gotta find Doopy Duper. Get that cauldron. Yeah, why don't you fucking go? Get the fuck out of here. Leave us the fuck alone. We got shit to talk about. 
Yeah, do you guys know what a wall is? Hey, listen, let me... I got this. All right, go ahead. Do you guys know what a wall is? No, wh tell why don't you, you tell us? Is. It's a giant fucking wall that you can't get past at all. You can't what? even get through what? it. You can't dig under it. You know what I'm talking about? What? Give me what? a high five, man. Good work. Thanks, man. These little two pumpkin heads aren't going to be able to get in here. That's right. Now they know what... Now they know... Now they understand what they're up against. Oh, look who it is. Look who's back. Little lost babies. Anyways, what were we talking about? Hey, listen, man. You rub my asshole with your tongue. Yeah, I will. <laughs> just kidding. I'm not doing that. What? Come on. You just said you would. Nah, we're just gonna hang out. Listen, uh, you see the newest episode of Clonefeld starring the Glorcon clones? It's like Seinfeld only with clones. Another green power, baby? You, what are you, Mother Teresa over here? <laughs> what a good guy. It's a clone show about nothing. <laughs> Have I seen it? It's a clone show about nothing. You're talking about the episode where... Let's get back to guarding this fucking castle. What do guards do? They stay quiet and they stay tough. Fucking tell me what to do. Listen, partner. Easy, easy, partner. You know, you better make sure every one of these jumps that you think about it and, and you time it just right because I'm not... I don't want to fall in this muck. And when I say muck, I'm referring to the ground up disgusting remnants of power babies in the slimy decomposed puddle below us. All right, well there we are, a power baby. We did save a power baby, I hope it was worth it to you. And you didn't get me slimy from the power baby guts down there, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that that, that was the right call. Good work, partner. Let's keep going, we gotta, we gotta move. Oh, look who's back. It's it's stupid and stupid. The two stupid idiots. Anyway, wh wh where was I? Go fucking play your stupid dumb game and fucking beat us. Stupid fucking idiots. You know, if you fucking... You, you got no confidence right now. Yeah, they don't even got any confidence. They don't got any confidence because we're going to fucking destroy them. Glorcon's the... Oh, look, look, look. There they go. A couple of fucking idiots. Off on their way. Fucking dumbass piece of shits. Let's get back to... Oh, crap, it's more of these mushroom monsters. These little mushroom monsters are vicious, are, are aggressive. Someone crying for help. Oh god. Please, come on. Just please. Look, 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 look. I see you're not looking, you're not looking, not look. Are you looking? Help me. Do you hear this? This chair is not gonna get up and help me. Come on. I'm I'm right here. Where are you going? Ah, everybody's always walking away from old doopy dooper. Why doesn't anyone ever want to help me? Poor, poor dude. All right, you got a green power, baby. Hello. Hey, hey, are you are you Doopy Duper? Yeah, yeah, I'm Doopy Duper. That's right, that's me. Oh, bad luck, Doopy Duper. All right, listen, w w our boss sent us here because you're supposed to have some sort of magic cauldron vessel thing? You mean that bowl thing? Yeah, I know, that's long gone. Those chicken nugget characters stole it from me and locked it up in their castle fort thing. Those dudes? Damn it! Yeah, the only way to get into that fort is up on that cliff there. Just up there, past my house. Do you see it? Yeah, that's it. And the only way you can get up to that cliff is if I reveal the secret staircase. Okay, yeah, so can you turn on the secret staircase? Oh, yeah, sure. I'll reveal it. It's super easy. I'll activate the secret staircase, but I just need you to help me move. Do you know how to pick stuff up and move it? Really? Well, that's all right. I got this chair upgrade you can use to help pick stuff up. And... All right, now you can pick up and move things, like my TV. 
Try it out! All you gotta do is look at the TV and press the R2 button. Simple as that. There you go. Now, if you wouldn't mind, bring it a little closer to me by using the D-pad. You can also rotate using left or right on the D-pad. Great! Now just set it right in front of me. I know it's bad to sit this close to the TV, but it's the only way I can watch my shows with these eyes. So just set it down right here, front and center. I want the TV to be invading my personal space. Not on top of me, but damn near. Ow! Ouch! Oh, that hurts. Oh, poor, poor Doopy. This is like the last time somebody dropped a TV on my head. Perfect, right there. Now I can watch my shows. So, now I just need you to move those boxes over to that house right there. The one with the basketball hoop. Yeah, now just set it anywhere in front of the house. Right over there. In front of the house. Do you not know what a house is? It's got that gorgeous basketball hoop right over the garage. You can't miss it. Perfect! Right there is perfect! You want some hard candies? No. You know, I've had a tough time lately. I'm trapped in this mechanical chair and it's rough being me. I, I got a little black cloud that follows me around. I say... Good morning, Black Cloud, and the Black Cloud doesn't even say good morning back. We were supposed to pick our houses. Oh, you did it! Thank you so much! You must have been in the Gifted and Talented program. <laughs> yeah, okay, so activate the secret staircase, please? Yeah, actually, I changed my mind. Can you move the boxes in the garage? I checked the weather and it said it could rain. You know, I don't want to risk it. It would soggy up the boxes and I don't want to soggy the boxes up. So, could you just put them in the garage so the boxes stay safe and dry? Then I'll, I'll promise I'll open the staircase, okay? Listen, we're in a lot of trouble here, okay? We can't fuck around with this shit. We need to know where this cauldron vessel thing is. I understand, I really do, but this will only take a second, I promise. I really appreciate you two doing this. Right, that's fine. All this moving is just so stressful. There, the boxes are in the garage, okay? Now reveal the damn staircase. Oh, shoot! I wanted you guys to hold off on doing that. I just checked the weather, and it looks like it's all cleared up. Plus, it's so dark and scary in that garage. What? Come on! This is bullshit! We had a deal! Now reveal the staircase! Please stop yelling at me. You're scaring me. You're oh, scaring shoot. old Duper here. Oh, my God! This, this is it, then! No more after this! Uh, we do this and then we get the secret staircase. No more, I promise. I never break my promise. Oh, man. Oh. <sighs> hey. Oh, hey, don't forget to move them back outside. I don't like how dark that garage is. Anywho, where was I? Oh, yeah, so. Do you ever wonder about trees? The problem is, with these trees, that there are little berries that fall off of them and then they land on your roof and fall on your front porch. Ugh. Then you gotta clean them off, but you can't cause they stain everything. They gunk up my wheels, you know what I'm talking about? They're not even edible, they're the worst. Well, I miss Sounds like someone I know. I think they're called dungly dangles. Yeah, dungly dangles. I'm talking about you, asshole! And be sure- Ouch! Oh, that hurts. Oh, poor, poor doopy. Ow! Ouch! Ow! 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 Ouch! Ouch! Oh, that Ow! Come on now, stop it. Ouch! Jeez! Oh, you got me. Ow! Am I- Ow! Ugh, stop it! Ow! Ouch! Ouch! Oh, that hurts. Oh, poor, poor Doopy. 
Anywho, where was I? Oh yeah, so be sure to bring out all the boxes. I don't want my collection of porcelain doll heads left in there. I like to pull them out of the box and lightly rub my lips across their forehead. Bless your weak little heart for doing this. You're really making old duper happy here. Let's go back to what I was talking about. Be sure to bring out all the boxes. I don't want my collection of porcelain doll heads left in there. I like to pull them out of the box and lightly rub my lips across their forehead. Good night, dolls. Anywho, where was I? Oh yeah, so... And they fall from the trees. I hope you fall off a cliff. Oh, they just get everywhere. In your gutters, on your lawn, on that psycho killer's car. I mean, everywhere. And you cannot sweep them off. There, the boxes are outside. Now, for fuck's sake, reveal the secret staircase. Okay, no need for foul language here. I will reveal the secret staircase, but not until one last thing. I want you to... Hey, where are you going? You gonna go sniffy whiffy somebody's couch cushion? Sniffy whiffy somebody's couch cushion. Oh, hey, you're back. Oh, I know that look. You just did some hot yoga with a bunch of sexy bendy grandpas, didn't you? Anywho, where was I? Oh, yeah, so... I want you to put the boxes on my roof. Go to hell! Hey, you want to get up that cliff? Then I'm going to need you to put those boxes on that roof. My new roof. Do you realize what's at stake? The entire universe could cease to exist. The whole universe. I didn't realize how crazy this shit was until just earlier. The whole universe is at stake. Well, that sounds pretty good to me. Turn on the secret staircase! Put the boxes on the roof! Trust me, this is the last thing. I hate moving just as much as the next guy. I can't wait to move into my new home, though. Take full advantage of that basketball hoop? I'm probably never gonna leave. Not that I was coming and going a whole lot, but... Now with that basketball hoop, I have no reason to leave. I'll be able to do all the cool b-ball moves, including the alley-oops, whoop de boops the hello Carls, the goodbye Bettys, the what are you doing out of bed, you got school in the morning, yup, I'll be doing all the cool basketball moves. I said I want them on the roof, try it again. Anywho, where was I? Oh yeah, so... Fucking Doopy Duper probably greased the roof. That's why we can't get any traction, we keep sliding off. This is fucking bullshit. I wonder if my new neighbors will like basketball. I don't understand why you can't figure this out. It's not that hard. Then you do it! Anywho, where was I? Oh yeah, so... There is nothing worse than having a neighbor that you do not get along with. It can ruin everything. I gave you the upgrade specifically so I didn't have to. Now get off your bum bum and get to work. Sure, Orpheans can't get off their ass, okay? Partner, we gotta figure out a way to get up that cliff. So, like I was saying, my last neighbor was the worst. They always left all their windows wide open so that I could see everything. Yeah, what are you doing over there? Don't stack my boxes over there. The secret staircase can't come out with those boxes over there. Oh shit, are you thinking what I'm thinking, partner? What was I talking about again? Oh yeah, my last neighbor was the worst. They always left all their windows wide open so that I could see everything. I'd sit there and just watch them. I didn't want to. We had a deal, damn it. Now move my boxes where I need them. The deal's off, asshole! Oh, that Who works! Oh, you freaking assholes! Oh, that sounds too bad like my mom. What a bunch of ninner pickles. You guys are jerks. We had an arrangement. Up yours, you friggin' buttwad. You're all buttwads. 
You guys are jerks. You're a bunch of friggin' jerks. Bunch of no gooders. That's what you are. Just like that one movie I saw where nobody was no good. Hope you guys step in a bunch of poop wherever you're running off to, anyways. Jesus Christ! This the, the little doopy dooper's a, a, a lunatic. Damn, partner, that was some quick thinking. Man, you must really hate helping people Hi, in wheelchairs. You got us out of that mess for real quick. Fifty minutes. Yeah, no, I, I can't stand guys in wheelchairs. They don't deserve to live. Damn, I thought we were never gonna get out of there. I mean, helping people move is the is the worst. They always make it seem like it'll be easy, but it never is. You know, even if it's just a couple of things. And then they offer to buy you a pizza or something. Like, like that's a fair trade. I don't think so. It's a bunch of bullshit, partner. Pretty good moving up there, moving those boxes up there. It's a pretty good move. I hope somebody shit them. Whoa! Whoa! That little son of a bitch was hiding pretty good. You got it. Was that funny? Bushes. Surprise, shitbag! Oh shit! I'm killing you myself, all by myself. Just, come on, bring it on. It's gonna be me, and I'm gonna kill you with my own self, and that's it. No help from nobody else, because I'm the rough and toughest clone of all the Glorcon clones. And I struck off at when I was told not to, and now I'm gonna kill on you. Oh, oh. Partner, how'd you get so good at doing puzzles? Did your parents make you practice morning, noon, and night until they ruined your love for puzzle solving, leaving you to resent them? All the while, they're thinking that they were doing you a favor when in reality, they were just pushing their own unhealthy addiction on you? Is that how you got into them and so good at puzzles? Yeah, we gummed them up. We gummed up the works by stealing that little cup. Yeah, they, they came here and they thought they would get that receptacle. Nope. Not because of us. We gummed it up. Yeah, we gummed that shit up. Fuck. Man, we were having a good conversation. <laughs> then we got to fight. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? Get over here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> sucks it's another stupid puzzle you know i'm sick and tired of these puzzles you know this this isn't what this isn't what it's supposed to be about you know man you i gotta give you credit for getting up here get getting us both up here i think we make a pretty decent team you know oh no Hey, what's going on? I'm Upgrade Tina. I'm just having like a little garage sale right now. I'm trying to clean out my hut, free up some space, you know. <laughs> you interested in buying anything? Yeah, what do you got? Uh, so I got an overflowing urn filled with Big Jim's ashes. Um, I got a bag of sad chips, because when the Ooh. chips are down, then you're probably eating sad chips. <laughs> oh, I also got a power baby upgrade. 
Huh, how much for the Power Baby upgrade? Interested in the Power Baby, huh? I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> tell me, tell, tell you what, sir, I'll make you a deal. My pet mushroom character is over there in the middle of all those mushroom monsters. If you go rescue him, I will give you this roll upgrade. But how do we know which one is your pet? I mean, they, they all look the same. Hey, don't give me that. Don't, don't you give me that nonsense. You know the difference between a pet and a monster. Come on. Oh, no. A monster. Just take the power baby upgrade. You're lucky I need room for Scrappy's babies. That's right. You just made a dozen babies into orphans. I hope you're fucking happy. Yeah. I hope you choke on that thing, bitch. Oh man, another upgrade for me. Another step up the old ladder. I this never gets old. I gotta tell you, these little power baby upgrades. It's 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 a little bonus Jonas for me. Oh man, I can feel it coursing through my veins. Oh, oh, I feel it. Oh, oh, I feel stronger. Just press the fucking circle button. Then you can roll your ass out of my life forever. <laughs> Damn, I wanted that urn. Partner, there's no reason for us to stick around. That urn is history. <laughs> Shit, partner! I think we're in some sort of secret back door entrance to the. Oh Lord well, look who it is! It, it's little Z little Doop and Zoop over there, the purple guy and the Cherorpion. Oh yeah, I see him. They're so dumb, they think they're gonna come inside the fort in the back way. That's not gonna happen on our watch. Yeah, not on my watch. Oh look who it is, partner! It's those same two guards from before. It looks like they moved around to the back. Yeah, that's them for sure. Those jerks who kept them out. Well, I'm sure this isn't gonna be completely annoying with them watching us. Yeah, look at them trying to trying to come, to fuck come in here through the through the back door. Don't let them get out of here. This back door. Don't talk so loud. They, 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 they don't want them to hear us. Yeah, you're right. We should talk a little bit more quiet. We don't want them to hear us talking about them. Yeah, that's what I just said. Look how stupid they are. They're a bunch of dumb idiots. See, they're looking at the fighting. My nipples are still not doing a little bit of fighting. It's a bunch of ridiculous stuff. You know, it's a, look at them, look at them fighting like little pathetic, little idiots. They don't know how to fight nothing. Look at them. It's embarrassing. Hey, shut up! You guys are idiots. All right, partner. It's these same two dummies from the from the front of this big fort. It's gonna be real fun doing this with them up there heckling us. Yeah, we're gonna heckle you all day long because you're stupid dummies. And you're not gonna get into this fort. You know, there's no way. The walls are way too high, and and we're way up here. You know, we're and we're gonna kill you both. All right. Okay. Whatever. We're gonna rip you apart. Did you get that message that Glorcon sent all the people? What, 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 what message? She said that we gotta kill that little Trover guy, the little purple guy, the Cherorpion. Oh man, we gotta kill him, huh? Yeah, you, yes, yeah, we gotta kill those guys. Huh, alright, well, you better buckle in, because have you ever killed anybody before? No, I haven't really. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it stays with you. I mean, it's rough, you know, it's, it, I know we gotta do it. We gotta do it for Glorcon, because he's got big plans. But like, you know, it's gonna stay with you. It's gonna haunt you. You know, when you kill somebody, that's it. It stays. It stays with you. It's just gonna stick around. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get. What are you trying to get all close for? There's no. You're not gonna get up here. You're not gonna do anything by getting all close. Yeah. What do you? What do you think? What do you think being all close about? It's gonna help you get in here. I don't think so. We're gonna get in that fort. There's nothing you can do to stop us. You're both. You're both a couple of dipshits. Yeah. You, you guys are dipshits. From us, you're too close to us. I don't, I don't like how close you. Yeah, are. I don't like how close they are to, to us right now. It's uncomfortable. I can smell them. They, they don't smell good. You guys are gonna regret shit talking us when 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 we get to you. All right, partner. Look, let, let's just figure out a way to get in there. It's, it shouldn't be too hard. Anyway, you, you see their face. You see their eyes. For the rest of your life, you, you know that. 
You'll never forget that feeling when, they're, when their life leaves their body. In there. Hey, what the fuck? Just a husk. There's no life left in this in, the, in that body, you know? It's rough. Man, we're gonna have to do that. That's, uh, that's a tough call. Hey, man, that's what we're here for. We're Glorcon clones. We gotta kill these two, you know? That's our whole point. They're our arch enemy. Yeah, they are. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, I wanna kill them now. Wait a second. Who, who have you killed? You, you're talking about it like you really know what it's like to kill somebody. Yeah, I killed. Huh, what do you think they're moving those blocks for? I don't know, and I don't care. Yeah, you said it. Anyway, where was I? I killed this one little character from this one colorful place we were at. And, uh, I'll never forget that look in, in, in his eyes. When my, when my little... Oh, look at you with the big... Picking up a big old stone. Man, th those guys are driving me crazy. Anyway, wh wh where was I? I'll never forget that look in, in, in his eyes. When my, when my little sword, when my little bone sword. Oh, oh God, I'm scared of my little panties here. Somebody got a stone. They picked up one of the little hinge head stones. Oh, is that one of those hinge head stones? Sure is. Look at, them, look at them swinging it around. What's he gonna do with it? What are they gonna do with that little hinge head stone? I'm shaking at my little panties and bra. Hey, I'm shaking at my panties and bra. No, you're not. I am. You know, you're not even wearing your panties and bra. You aren't either. Yeah, I am. It's the same color. It's the exact same color as my skin. And I wore it really tight for a lot of years, so it sort of created these indentations in my body shape. And now, when, and then I took it off, and now the ones I'm wearing are flush with my body. So you can't really, you completely can't see it. Jeez, they will not shut the fuck up. What was I talking about again? I'll never forget that look in, in, in his eyes. When my, when my little sword, when my little bone sword ripped open his stomach and his intestines just splattered all out everywhere. Green, colorful little cheeks got all, all the lights out of them. His big, cute little eyes. Just, hey, look, they're moving blocks. Huh, that's interesting. I don't, I don't like that they're moving those blocks. Yeah, me neither. God damn, those motherfuckers keep just shit talking. Okay, so listen, I'm gonna pick up where I left off. Um, he screamed, and his colorful little cheeks got all. All the life went out of him. His big, cute little eyes just sort of rolled back into his head. Hey, you're just describing that movie we just watched last night. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. That was the scene from that movie we watched last night with all the colorful characters. And then the, and the one guy with the bone sword. Okay, fine. I haven't killed anybody. All right, fine. I didn't kill anybody. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good, I'm a good uh, person, all right? I don't, I don't, I don't, I've never killed anybody. And it's going to be hard, okay? Well, where'd you get all that stuff about, you know, remembering their... Oh look, it's the block movers. A couple of little block movers down there. Yeah, they're like the doozers. What do we got a couple of doozers down there? Oh look, it's the doozers. We got a couple of little doozers down there moving some blocks. Oh, look at look at somebody just learned how to stack some things on top of stuff. Welcome to the Stacky Awards. We've got a couple of stackers here in the award for stacking things together of no consequence to anyone in the entire cosmos goes to the little purple piece of shit and the dumb idiot in the chair. Congratulations. You're fucking idiots. You two are fucking idiots. You're fucking wasting your time stacking shit around and stacking things on things. Don't stack things on things. That's what racists do. Are you racist? If you're racist, you'll stack Oh, look who's stacking again. More things on things. What in the heavenly heck is going on here? Because that is a racist action right there. That's a racist thing to do. Why are you stacking all that shit? You don't stack things on blocks. You don't stack blocks on stuff. Get out of here. Go away. Why are you stacking things? You're getting too, you're stacking things too high. They're, why are they stacking things so high? It's not, it's making me uncomfortable. Oh. Holy crap, oh. 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 Holy shit. All right, partner. We gotta we gotta, we gotta keep a lookout for that receptacle that we need to fill with Glorcon DNA. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Good work, these fucking green power babies. I swear to God. Man, if they made it any harder to find a green power baby, I tell you what, we wouldn't be out here getting them. 
This is our gut sucking little cauldron. Fuck you! That's our cauldron! Get him! Can't fucking get him! Okay, I'm gonna alert the guards. Hold on to your buckets. If you know what I mean. Hey, whoa, holy shit, there's a bunch of reruns of Golden Girls on right now out here. What Golden Girl reruns? Where? Guys, come on, Golden Girls reruns. Guys, I'm coming, I'm coming, I heard it, I heard it, I'm coming, Golden Girls. Hey, wait a minute, you son of a bitch. Get him, get him, get him, get him, I'm getting him. Uh, get him. That's fuck it, you. motherfucker. You're dead. Get him, get, get him, kill him. Come on, fucking kill him, murder him. I'll fuck you up. clone DNA right into the vessel. All right, listen, you move the vessel around and I'll kill the clones. We gotta work together, partner. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get some more out. Help! Somebody help! I'm a little kid! I'm, I'm, I fell in a well! Help! Hey, you guys hear that? There's a little kid that fell in a well. Yeah, I heard it. Come on, let's go. We gotta save him. Yeah, wait a minute. You fucking lied to us! Goddamn right I did! Fuck you! Get him! I'm gonna fuck you up, punk, he says. I'll fucking kill you! I'm gonna fuck you up, punk! Holy crap, we're killing it, partner! We're, we're fucking a good team! Holy shit! What kind of- 
kind of Gorkon clone is that? I'm the shield Gorkon clone. Get the fuck out of here. Quit messing around with my other Gorkon clone friends. Quit lying to them about stuff. We, we thought you were serious. I'm the Gorkon shield clone. We'll fucking murder you. Glorcon bone shield, you dummy. You can't fucking stop my shield. Look at you. You're a fucking dummy You're trying to stop my shield. Good luck. What are you gonna do? You're a fuck you. Whoa, hey, oh my god. We're the shield brothers. That's right, there's two of us now. Now you're really fucked. Yeah, you might have been able to kill our other shield, Gorkon Champion. clone. But now there's two of us and we're brothers. Oh, great, here we go. Ah. Yeah. Fuck, get him, kill him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking murder him. Can't get behind either of us at once, because there's two of us. I'm gonna fuck you up, huh? They called us the Shield Brothers in Gorkon College. No comment about how I murdered your brother. together we did it together all right let's go let's get out of here partner <laughs> oh these green power babies they make my brain shiver Great, it's you again. Yeah, I stole that node locking technology from one of those chicken nuggets and I locked this node down so that I could say, I'm sorry. I want to make amends with you and I, I, I really need a favor. I want you to move me back to my original house if you have a sec. Uh, I, I wanted to live in that house with the basketball hoop, but over time that basketball hoop came to haunt me. It's always there looking at me. It's always there looking back at me. I don't even play basketball. I don't know what I was Ouch! Wait, 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 don't hit me. I just need you to help me move back to the first house. Anywho, where was I? Oh yeah, so I don't know what I was thinking. Plus that house is too close to the cliff. I just want to move back to the first home I was Ow! in. I have a power, baby. If you quit hitting me, and I'll give it to you if you don't kill me and help me with the box. And what was I talking about again? Oh yeah, I just want to move back to the first home I was in. And if you move me, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, all right. Take, calm down. Oh just... good. Just meet me at the back of the house. Oh. Okay, so all I need you to do is move my boxes back to my old house. <laughs> Thanks again for doing this. I know we didn't end on a good note. As soon as you left, it dawned on me that this house was not meant for me. It's the basketball hoop. I thought I would love it, but it felt like it was judging me, taunting me. Doopy, come dunk me, dunk me, doopy. Plus, I was just too close to the cliff, which gave me the creeps, to be honest. Anybody could just climb up the secret staircase, look down, and see everything. I don't like that. Not to mention, if it rains, then the whole bluff could come tumbling down. 
Thank you so much for doing this. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, there is just one more thing. No! No more things! We're not doing any more things! Either give us the green power, baby, or we're taking one of your boxes. All right, all right. Here's your green power, baby. My Jeez, ball, who is it? Who's out there? Well, anyway, now I can relax and watch some TV, finally. The fuck is at the door? Open the door! Why the fuck are you closing the door? Get out of my way! Get the fuck out of my way! You need to take it easy! Is this that no, fucking game? No, it's not from the... I will put you! Nancy, you gotta take it easy! Good lord, that doopy dooper character. Just moving back and forth like a nutball. Like a lunatic. It's a bunch of wait, wait, big waste of our time, partner. We gotta... I'm really thinking we could pull this off now, you know? I mean, after that big battle and the thing. And we gotta get our... We gotta... We, we should've knocked Doopy off the cliff, to be completely frank with you. We gotta get out of here. We gotta go. We gotta hustle. All right, listen, don't forget to dump off your power babies. I did find a lot of them this time. I can take one more hit of damage, all thanks to your green power, baby hunting. Whoa, fuck! Oh my god, I got three. I got. We got a third extra hit point for me. Man, I'm getting so much more powerful. I can feel it in my blood. These green power babies are really worth collecting. All right. All the green power babies on top of all the other shit we had to do and deal with. Doopy Dooper, the fucking, the, 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 the guys on the wall. You, but you still got all the green power babies. Oh, good work. Hello? What's going on? Hey, boss, listen. Uh, you know, we, we, we got the cauldron. You know, me, me and the chair orpian. You know, I, I'm really starting to think we might be able to pull this off. Trover, get a hold of yourself. Get your shit together. Pull your britches together. Don't, don't get so uh, highfalutin. Think you can pull this off, uh, Chair Orpian? Is it true? Do you think you can pull this off? All right, good. I'm gonna need that kind of gumption and confidence because I've got a lot of money on the line here. We're taking bets in the office at the giant space station here as to whether or not you dum-dums will be able to save the cosmos because we are fucking wasted, all of us. Now listen, I need you two dum-dums to get that stupid cauldron filled with Glorcon gut clones guts into voodoo person's place. I gotta get the fuck out of here. I got a sweaty, wet person in my office that I need to lick and hug. And that's a cultural thing, and I don't want you to be oppressing me about it. Over and out. Cultural sensitivity. You know, fuck that guy. Fuck him. He's the reason I'm in this mess. I'd be on my home planet right now at my favorite place, Empty Peepers, sipping a sloppy flap. And I'm here with your stupid ass. Look, I'm sorry. I don't mean to call you stupid. I, I really do think we did a pretty good job back there. You know, I mean, maybe we maybe maybe we might be fit to, to figure this stuff out together as a team. We do have certainly complementary skill sets, but I'm just upset about the, my boss. I am humble. I'm a humble person. I'm humble as fuck. You know, I got a fucking Rolls Royce. I got a fucking I, I got a giant mansion in my home place, in my home world. I got a I got I got a, I wear Rolex normally. I'm not right now. I sense there's people here. This is scary, partner. This is weird. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Ooh, I smell visitors. Mm. Ah, welcome. I'm Voodoo Person. I'm gonna take your receptacle and enchant it with science and things, but I need a favor from you, please. Set the vessel down in front of me, please. Drop the vessel with all the Glorcon goo inside of it. Set it down in front of me. Just set the vessel down and... Ah, good work. Right where I asked you to place it, right in the spot. Or close enough. Thank you very much. 
I need you to go to... There's a cursed village. The villagers' souls are tormented in everlasting pain, and they must be freed from their bodies to once again know peace. They walk the area of their village aimlessly, endlessly, and for eternity in pain and torment. Okay, all right, what do you want us to do? You have to go to the villagers and, and kill them, slay them, so their spirits will be freed and they can once again know peace fr from the pain and torment that they are eternally living in because they've been cursed. Partner, what do you think? All right, okay, thank you. We'll be back. All right. Good luck, you two, and I, while you're gone, I'll be hard at work enchanting this vial of Glorcon clone juice and getting it all primed and ready for the abstainers. Your boss told me all about it. I'm in the know. I'm all looped in with the, what's going on. Good luck. Have fun. Don't have too much fun. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Rover. This has been quite the adventure. I can't believe we're killing these people, but I will say, at least we're getting to do it under this beautiful green sky, and the ground is sort of orangey, and the little their little houses are circular and orange. It's pretty. I mean, I do like, I do appreciate that. Oh my God. We're not gonna kill any of them. I hope Voodoo Person doesn't get upset. I mean, that's what we came here for. But whatever, you know, you're you're calling the shots. Let's go back to Voodoo Person. Man, I'm glad you're the one controlling all this. I don't know if I can stomach doing this on my own. It feels like murder. I know we're free in their spirits, but Jesus. Jesus Christ, fire! Fire, did you do that? I feel like, I feel like we're in a slasher pick. Damn, you got a green power, baby. Man, I, I am, I, I, Relax I am killing like people. Holy shit, it's a cur. We are really killing these villagers, aren't we? Let's go back to Voodoo Person. Just 
Jigaloo, slim, slim, Jigaloo, Jigaloo, slim. Oh, good work. Wonderful job. Oh, thank goodness you freed their spirits. I do think of their world and reminisce about the little bright, piercing blood-red sky and the blue grass and the little rectangular gray homes that they lived in. That's, that's what it looked like, right? When you were there, that's what their home, that's what their little world looked like, right? W what do you mean, no? What, what 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 did it look like? Um, the the huts were orange, like orange shape, orange, round oranges, and the sky was green. Oh my god! Oh, I must have given you the wrong coordinates. Oh, don't look me in the eye! Don't look me in the eye! <clears throat> okay, what you did today was very heroic. You are true heroes! We killed an entire village of innocent creatures! Oh no, you're very heroic! You're heroes of the day, and true heroes don't boast of their accomplishments! True heroes are humble and quiet, and they don't speak of the things that they've done, because it's not about them, it's about the heroic jobs they do, not about getting credit for it or whatever so you're very heroic good job keep your lip closed like a real true hero and i'm gonna just be here why don't you guys just take off now why don't you guys just go ahead and hit it hit hit the hit the road jack get out of here why don't you guys just get the fuck out of here i've got shit to do keep your fucking mouths closed keep your fucking mouths closed get the fuck out of here get the fuck out of here Herner, Hi, you gotta pick up the vessel just look at it and pick Set it up. Set an alarm for 25 minutes. Uh, I'll tell you a story. I got a bad memory. I don't remember a lot of stuff. <laughs> get out of here. You guys get out of my hut. I'm, I'm sick of talking to you guys. Get the fuck out of here. Go play your stupid game and finish the dumb story. <laughs> Piece of shits. Get out of here. I'm fucking sick of this. Get the fuck out of here. You saved some lives. Good work. What do you want from me? You got your goop? Go take it to the abstainers and do your mission. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's go. That's, that's gotta be it. Jesus Christ, partner. I can't believe we killed all those innocent villagers, you know? We, 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 we can't tell anybody about this, okay? Look at me. I mean it, look at me right now. What, what are you doing? Look at me, look at me in the face. Look at me in the face, what are you looking around? This is serious, we killed a bunch of innocent villagers. Look at me. All right, I'm just gonna wait till you look at me. I'm just gonna hang out, you, but, you, but you have to look at me. All right, look, okay. We gotta take this to our graves, you got that? God damn it. What? I'm gonna throw up. Never in a million years did I think I'd be making a pact with like this with a Cherorpion, of all things, of all of all creatures on in this godforsaken cosmos. What? I'm gonna puke. We killed all those villagers, and we gotta make a pact. We gotta take this to the grave, you and me, an eye hole monster and a Cherorpion, an unlikely duo, making a pact. We can't tell anybody about this. You know something, Cherorpion? You're not so. Oh shit! What the fuck's going on? Holy shit! Surprise! It's me, Clorcon, you fucking dumb pieces of shit! Oh my god! Trying to get your dogs back? Not gonna happen. See him in my eyes? They're fucking crying right now. It hurts them to be in my eyes. You guys are fucked. Fuck trying you! Trying to get my Clorcon clone guts? Trying to fucking do one over on me? I don't think so. I'll be taking no. those. Fucking idiots. Can't believe the abstainers thought something this stupid would work. I'm a fucking god with your dogs in my eyes. I'll be right back. I've got a little surprise for you. 
Oh, while I'm away, look at the beautiful vista of my amazing Glorkon Palace base behind an incredibly powerful shield force field. I intercepted your pod and placed you in a nice spot with a good view of my fucking cool base of operations on this secret hidden planet. I'll be right back. Holy shit, partner! What the fuck are we supposed to do? Surprise! A little present for Whoa, you guys. What the fuck? You know what it is? It's a fucking bomb! Jesus Christ! The second you arrive at the abstainer's location, it's gonna detonate. And it's gonna kill the three abstainers along with the two of you. Suck my giant Glorcon nuts, you fucking dipshits. Holy shit! Shit, partner! You gotta defuse that bomb! Defuse the bomb! Just do whatever, like hit buttons or figure it out! Uh, I, I, gotta, I gotta reroute the telepod! I gotta override the telepod. He's got us going straight for the abstainers. It's gonna kill the abstainers and, and you and me. Holy shit, it looks just like that damn puzzle from the tree trunk in the Shlemy world, the first level of the game. The fucking impossible puzzle. I thought we weren't gonna do that in this game. I thought, I thought we agreed we weren't gonna do those sorts of game mechanics in this game. That's not what this game's about. Jesus Christ. Why would they put another one of these in the game? It's not the fun thing to do in the game. It's not a fun thing to do in a video game. Just hit buttons. It's like a quick time event. Yeah, oh, hello. Dragon Slayer from 1985 called. It wants its fucking lame quick time event bullshit. Whatever, who cares? Uh, I got it, I got it. The teleport doors are open. Fuck this bomb. Fuck this shit, I'm fucking this, I'm kicking it out. One, two, and a three. Right out the fucking telepod door. Look at that fucking thing flying away. I overestimated this Glorcon character, or maybe I didn't, but whatever, either way, I'm pretty cemented on the fact that this guy's a fucking moron. Trova, Cherubian, what happened? Glorcon intercepted the telepod, somehow brought us to his secret base, and, and then he put a bomb in the telepod, but get this, it was the world's shittiest fucking bomb. You know, it was a fucking piece of shit, you know what I mean? But, I, but his intentions were to kill, you know, all of us. You know, me, the, the Cherorpian, the three of you. We were all supposed to die. I'm, I'm, I mean, that, that, that much is clear to me. But he's a fucking idiot and he, and he fucking fucked up because he's stupid. And that, and that makes me feel pretty good and comfortable and relaxed. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness gracious. He's past the point of reasoning. He's gone mad. If Glorcon redirected the telepod to his secret base, then that means the telepod has Glorcon's secret base location embedded into it. And we can determine where his secret base is. Trover, Cherorpian, we must engage in a reconnect. It's a very risky and untested maneuver. No one knows exactly what happens when four abstainers get manually reconnected, but one thing is for sure. It will probably strip Glorcon of his agency and almost definitely fold his consciousness back into ours. Most likely. That sounds like some sort of plan. Here are special grab throw chair upgrade things. Spit on them. Ready? Three, two, one. Normally I'm into getting spit on. You know, it's kind of a turn on, but not by these guys, you know? Not too much of a fan of that. All right. You've just been endowed with the grab throw chair upgrade and lets you grab and throw objects wherever you look. Where was this when Glorcon had a bomb strapped to our telepod? Shut your bitch ass up, Trover, before we smack you across the face backhanded like pimps do. That's right, we know about pimps. We are summoning four strange creatures. Here they are. These creatures are special. They're the crystallized large creatures. We only have four. You will need to go and find four more. But for now, I want you to pick these up and throw them into two of our eye holes, connecting two of us. Cherorpian, you must look at the crystal power, baby, and hold the R2 button to activate this new ability. Do it. Pick them up and throw the creatures into two of our eye holes. Uh, you have to plug mm -hmm. two of the crystal power babies into one of our faces. It doesn't work all spread out like that. Uh, 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 oh, oh, mm -hmm. I want the crystal power babies in my... Uh, 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 we are now merged. We feel very good. This is very nice. I feel very zen. You must go out and collect four more of the other special creatures. They will need to be plugged into this abstainer. What's up, dudes? It's me, Tyler. And Glorcon. Go now. Go. Go get the other special creatures. Go. Hurry. 
Come on, all right, partner, let, let, let's let, let's leave him to it. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm all messed up back here. I, I'm all loopy as hell. Lorcan's one hell of a villain. Jesus Christ, oh, that one abstainer's like all fucked up. Looks. Listen to him. Kind of makes I'm me want to get drunk. I say we get drunk, partner. I say we get real I'm drunk. Once hell. we finish all this shit, I'm I say we take a shot every level. Not being connected from those creatures. Yeah, I'm the fucking shit show over here. I'm a shit show. I'm a regular old shit show. Oh, you know I'm fucked up. Oh, man. Ooh, Carter, yeah. that's the boss calling. Oh, Go ahead and feel answer it. I'm so high. I feel Jesus high as hell. Oh, Hello, man. Trover, oh. Cherorpian. You have to collect these special creatures, the crystally ones that need to be plugged into the abstainer and Glorcon's eye holes. I found the location of a pair of them. They're in Flesh World. Flesh World. What is Flesh World? Well, could be any number of things. I, I truly have no idea. And I, it's not my job to know that. I don't give a shit. All I know is the computer I looked at located the crystal babies, and they're in Flesh World, and I'm gonna make sure the telepod gets you right near where they are. So you get out of the telepod on Flesh World, and you fucking get the crystal babies, and let's just keep this horse moving. Now let's talk a little bit about Flesh World. What is it? Is it flesh? Is it a world? Why not call it Skin World? Why not call it Skin Planet? I don't know. It's not my job to name things. I'm the boss of this operation. Okay. okay? Now get the fuck out of my sight. I got shit to do. Fuck it. I got a homework assignment. I'm doing a crossword puzzle for my, for my teacher. I'm taking a night school class. See you guys in Flesh World, or I won't be there, but you know what I mean. Good luck in Flesh World. Man, I am just reeling at how stupid this Glorcon character is, you know? Thinks he's all tough. He might have your dogs plugged into his eyes and have superpowers, but I'll tell you one superpower he doesn't have. The, the superpower of intelligence. He's an idiot. That was the dumbest bomb I've ever seen in my life earlier that he tried to pull. Didn't do nothing. Now all we gotta do is find these crystal babies, and we'll be wrapped- well, This whole thing will be wrapped up real quick, and you'll be back home on your stupid chair place, and I'll be in my place. And we'll have distant memories of each other. Right, partner? You and me. Distant memories. Alright, I guess we're going to Flesh World. Jesus Christ, this fucking place looks like a cannibal's paradise, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Jeez, man, this whole situation's really getting out of hand, you know? It's one thing after the next. Inside this place and get that, get these fucking crystal babies. Green power, baby. Hey, purple guy and Cheropian. I've heard of Cheropians. Come over here. Hey, seriously, come over here. Man, this place, you know, it's it's all squishy and wet here. There's veins everywhere. Not a fan of this place. It's wet and gross. That's all I gotta say about it. Green power, baby. There is stupid. Where you are is dumb. Come here. Come here now. Partner, this oh, looks like. Oh, hey, what's going on, bro? I'm Upgrade Teddy. You waiting for the zoo to open too? That place ain't right. My baby bro went in there last week and he never returned. I just hope he didn't forget his heart medication. Zabora leg? Have you heard of it? It's the brand doctors trust most of the time. Speaking of time, I've been out here so damn long that I built this game. Want to give it a go? Here, you're going to need this power baby upgrade. 
Oh shit, we got a power baby upgrade, partner. Let's get this puppy installed in me. Yeah, come on, bro. It's free. Take it. Come on, look, grab the power baby. Uh, right there. It's right there. Look, we, we gotta get this thing plugged into my eye, partner. Take it, bro. It's free. Take it. Walk me over to the power baby. Partner, walk me over to the power baby. Come on, what are we doing? It's an upgrade. We just got an upgrade. Who doesn't like free things? Take it. Come on, bro. What's the problem? You don't like this? You don't like free things? Do you understand what free things are? They're free, man. Hey, what the effing What the fuck? hell are you doing? Are you There's going? a free power baby back there. What are you doing? Where are you going? Where are we, what are we even doing? Let's just come up with something now. It's yours, free of charge, no strings attached. Just take it. Well, let's do this. This is exciting. This is the perk of the job here. I know it sounds too good to be true, but it's not. Just take it. What's the problem? You don't like this? You don't like free things? Do you understand what free things are? They're free, man. You get to watch these... Man, look at these little sons of bitches going at it. Oh my god, this is incredible. You know, if they put this on a sports network, I would watch it. I'd bet money on it. All right, you got the power baby upgrade. It's all installed. Now just hit the triangle button for a new heavy, sweet-ass attack move. I've been out here for so long, all I could do is build this stupid game. Press the triangle button to hit the bug in the air. Look at... Ha-ha! There you go! Got it! Hit all the targets that all hit you with a prize! Do you think my brother's dead? The zoo's been closed ever since that big-ass spaceship showed up. Some big, muscly stud muffins locked it up. They had that dumb, sexy He-Man look to them, you know? But who cares about a bunch of grade-A buff beefcakes locking up a flesh zoo? I want to get my baby bro, baby bro, baby bro back. I don't know what's going on. I've just been waiting for the zoo to fucking open so I can get my brother out. to see you guys are playing my game. It looks fun. I haven't even played it. Sure is a beautiful day for standing around and watching somebody not accomplish shit. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time me and my baby bro went to the mall? Oh, well, we did. And he tried to jump over the second store railing. I couldn't believe it. I grabbed him by the shirt and caught him just as he was about to go over all the way down from the second floor. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what it's like to stand on a pile of sweaty flesh all day, but that's what I've been doing. And I've described it to you, but I just sort of did. Oh, just standing around on a pile of sweaty flesh all day. What a treat. Hey, look at that. You got them all. You get a free green power baby. Uh, don't you worry about me and those these green power babies. I'm gonna take care of those. But first, we gotta get inside this zoo. How are you gonna get in? It's all locked up, you stupid dumb. You think this is my first time breaking into a zoo, huh? I break into zoos all the time. I just broke into a zoo last week. Why? Same reason I do everything. Criskets. I know they got criskets in there. Uh, and I'm ready to get back on that horse. Oh man, I had to stop eating those. They kept making me pee blood. Take my pee pee blood and put it in a vial and give it to a doctor. <laughs> you guys didn't need to know that there's blood coming out of my pee pee hole right now. There's a puddle of pee pee blood by my feet. Don't look down. in your telepod? I really need to go number two, but I can't do it with all the blinking eyes and skin everywhere. Uh, I don't know how we're getting... Holy shit, Fart! You open the gate! Look for my baby bro. Downgrade Donnie. Yeah, we'll be sure to keep an eye out for him. You know, rumor has it that if you turn this world inside out, it looks like a 45-year-old bank teller. <laughs>
Yeah, it's a tooth. Look, man, I'm not gonna say something cute and clever every time you see something. Let's just get a freaking move on. Jenkins? Wow, uh, it, it, it's been a while. It sure has, Trover. You look nice with those new power babies in your eyes. Uh, yeah, thanks. W w what have you been up to, Gale? What does it look like I've been up to, Trover? I'm the head zookeeper of my own goddamn zoo. That's right, I'm keeping this zoo all by myself. And it's my fucking zoo. What have you been up to? Slumming it with a Cherorpion, I see. So what are you, Trover's new roommate? I'm talking to you, Cherorpion. Are you his new roommate? Yes or no? You know the si- Oh, well be careful. If he treats you anything like he treated me, you'll be stuck paying last month's rent and the cleaning deposit. Listen, Gail, we're just here to see the Crystal Babies. Oh, you want to see the Crystal Babies? Well, go by all means on your own little way and find them. I'm sure you couldn't help but notice that the gate to the Flesh Safari is closed. But I'm not going to help you, Trover. If you were any other one of my zoo guests, I'd give you a lift. But guess what? Fuck you. Now let me get back to what I was doing a second ago. I was counting papers. Thanks, Gail. Okay, partner, let's figure out how to get this fucking... Flesh Safari door open. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't believe it's fucking my old roommate, Gale. You sure? Yeah, I ditched out on some of the rent money, but the guy's fucking insane. I'm telling you, he used to come into my bedroom and just scream about lasagna for no reason. He was like in a trance. I couldn't even talk to him. This is not good. We gotta get these fucking crystal babies and get the fuck out of here. Partner, I'm telling you, this guy's fucking insane. One time he threw a party, said all his best friends were gonna be there. He came out of my room and I talked to people. Nobody knew who he was. I don't know where he found these people. I got the fuck out of there. Ooh, you are sucking these green power babies up. Oh, God, one time Gail brought home a random baby. He didn't even know who it belonged to. Put it in the sink. I just took off. He claimed that the stock photos in his picture frames were people that he sued. He would leave notes everywhere, and they weren't even to me. They were to non-existent people about things that had happened in the apartment that didn't happen. I can't go any further than this from you. Man, you're a goddamn green power baby machine. When he gets really upset, he starts screaming about pizza nuggets. Which doesn't make any sense because his father was a pizza nugget. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe maybe there is a connection and that does make sense. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Instead of drinking his water, he used to eat it, if you know what I mean. And I'm not even talking about that he froze it and fucking chewed on it. I'm saying he would use a fork and a knife and eat water. Unfrozen liquid water. That's who we're dealing with here. Oh! He caught me rubbing my shingle on his pillow. And the guy never washed the pillow. You'd wash your pillow if you caught someone rubbing their shingle on it. The guy's nuts. I never once saw him use the bathroom and I set up four cameras on the bathroom just to be 100% sure. Never went in there. His room on the other <laughs> hand, Spent a lot of time in that room, and there were piles of green sludge in there. A lot of green sludge. He used to sleep on a bed of rocks and pipes that he found in the sewer. One time I came home, and I saw him standing there rubbing raw turkey dough all over his ass. Who does that? He 
was obsessed with climbing trees in the buff. He used to whip his little winger, wingler out and climb trees. Who does that? All his clothes had zippers on them, and then and you and he they kept getting caught on the door. I can't go any further. All his clothes were made out of zippers, and they would keep. You know, Gail, I gotta say, you sound a lot like one of these characters we met called the Abstainers. The Abstainers? Yeah. Oh. Let's get our little grid graph paper out and figure out this mystery. Ooh, how could this be that I sound somewhat similar to one of the Abstainers? What mystery is afoot? I think it might be low budgets, crunching, and the fact that it's difficult to make a video game, Trover. And it's not easy to do creative endeavors when you have 10,000 different actors and you're rewriting the thing every 10 seconds. And it's still gonna turn out pretty shitty so why don't you get the fuck out of my face trover i'm trying to make a fucking video game here come on partner we got to get that door open he used to make condom scented candles and sell them online to himself Good work, good work, Trover and Cherorpion. Opening my zoo park door. And I have fun. And have a good time. And I hope you find my crystal babies and get a good peep at them. This true zoo isn't easy to open. Is isn't easy to keep open. I'm back to my taxes. Alright, Gail, sorry. Let's go. Come on. We gotta move. <laughs> I'm telling you, partner, I'm getting bags. weird vibes about this place, you know? We should hurry up and get the crystal babies and get the hell out of here. <laughs> what are you, one of those people who reads those, like, Can You Find It books? Where's Waldo books? Because you got a keen eye for these green Give me out of his prison! <laughs> Come here, sweet stuff. Look at me over here. Hey. 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 Come here. You gotta help me out. I shouldn't be here. I'm innocent. I didn't steal all those rakes. They said I stole a thousand rakes. Motherfucker, I don't even know what a rake is. Classic Gale. Of course this is a prison. This son of a bitch. Hey, He's got a bunch of prisoners in here. here. All right, let's just get... You gotta help me get out of here! Hey, stranger, over here. My name is Andy DeFrance, and I've been wrongfully accused of murder. You have to help me! Uh, listen, I'm sorry, but, you know, we're, we're busy. Fine. I don't need you. I'll escape by crawling through the sewage system. I'm talking three football fields of shit. Ugh, oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. It's gonna get real nasty up in there, splashing Damn, around in other people's shit and piss. Mm. I might even get a little bit in my mouth. Mm. Oh my god! I'm talking 900 feet of pure dark back magic, coursing through every inch of my naked body. The ultimate poop pinata. Oh, you're taking off. Okay, bye. Hey, hey, Cherubian, look at me. Look, you gotta get me out of this prison. I don't belong here. I'm innocent. They're claiming that I killed my maid, but I didn't. She just, uh, she just died. All right, so this is definitely a prison. This is just great. Hey, you shut the hell up, purple man. Please, I'm in, I'm in desperate need of a lawyer. Can you help me? Do you know of any lawyers? So do you know any? 
Thank you. I, I really hope he's good because, man, I was guilty as fuck. <laughs> I was in the crime scene with the, with the weapon right in my hand, but I bet... No, uh, but I, I did not do it, though. I honestly... <laughs> Wow, I, what a beautiful lake! Alright, I'm gonna call it. I'm going to bed. Huh, I wonder what that green stuff is. Probably better not to find out. Wonderful. Whoa, ho! Look, who's, look who it is! Decides to show back up now, after all this time. You know, why don't you hit the little button, and then the menu will tell you what's going on in the game, because I can't remember. Good doing okay. Partner, I'm pretty sure that's the exhibit right up ahead that's gonna have one of those crystal creatures that we need in it. Get the crystal creature and get the hell out of here, you know? <laughs> What's going on? What the fuck? Oh, ho, ho. Trover, I knew you were coming all along. You play me for a dum dum. I lived with you for how many oh, years? Wonderful. Here we go. Here we go. You skipped out of my two hundred and forty dollar rent and uh, whatever bill, and I'm angry with you. So I got in bed with these chicken nugget characters that I barely oh, know. Those fucking guys. That's right. Gail's in bed with us. Uh, it's Gail. Gail, sorry. Gail's in bed with us. And you're fucked. Remember us? Yeah, fuck you. We're gonna fucking kill your fucking stupid ass. We have amazing train ninja level clone people now. What the fuck have we gotten ourselves into? You got yourself into a real shit pile of fuck. We're sending our toughest karate chop clone fighters in now. Fuck you. Partner, him. we gotta deal with this head on. That's right. Oh, shit. You gotta deal with this head on. Cause you're a fucking uh, naked fuck you. little purple whole eye hole monster. And you fucked me for $740. And I won't ever forget it. And I and god damn it's a coincidence. Or was it? Is it a coincidence or is it fate that brought us back together, Trover? Because I was sitting here running my zoo. It's all that's also where I live in, and all my little zoo animals. It's not a prison. And then all of a sudden these chicken nugget characters showed up. And they said. We need help. And I said, what are you talking about? And they said, well, there's this character named Trover and, the, and this Cherubian. And they're showing up to get those crystal babies that you care so much about. And I was like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, wonderful. Here we go. Here we go. And we teamed up and made a forcefulest team. And we will, we, and you all, you are dead. You're gonna die. That's right, you're fucked. We're gonna fucking fuck kill you. Yeah, we're gonna fucking murder you, and this is it. This is the fucking game over situation right here. You're fucking dead and dying tonight. Fuck Motherfucker. you. Today, I mean, it's, is it not night? It's that fucking daytime here right now. Well, it's night where we live. Fuck you. Maybe you don't know that Trover used to shit in my mouth when I slept at night. You wanted me to. You me to. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, 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 is hard. Oh, hearing about this. Oh, I'm a puke. You know Trover's never worn a hat ever. Oh, Jesus Christ, never worn a hat. That's not true. Ooh, I wear hats all the time. I always wear hats. Cherubian, maybe you don't know this about your little pal, Trover, but he used to pee in the sink on purpose. Not like me. I would pee in people's mouths where it's supposed to go. Oh, Trover used to pee in the fucking sink? I never thought I was just supposed to pee in people's mouths. Are you kidding me? It's not that hard. Look, you'll just fucking throw a rock and you'll hit someone. They'll open their mouth and you pee inside of it. Big deal. That's right. That's what the world we lived in was like. And Trover peed in a goddamn sink. Oh, and I peed in people's mouths because I'm a fucking... I'm a fucking person of integrity and fuck all of this shit. And if somebody were to take that last quote and put it in print, it wouldn't read as funny as it did when I said it out loud. But I don't care because there's no journalists around. Uh, actually, I'm a clone journalist. I'm working on a story. I don't know that thing you said. Well, I, I don't know what to say about that. God damn, those motherfuckers keep this? shit talking. Yeah. He 
hasn't closed a shower curtain while he showers. Should I close the shower curtain from a stranger from another manger? You're gonna fucking die here, Trover. You're fucking dead as fuck, Trover. This is the dead end spot of the game for you. You little piece of shit, purple piece of shit. That's racist that you would call me purple. That's a fuck, Trover. I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited. Oh, my arm and I shlungle. I'm gonna shlungle. Fuck, they killed the last of our clone warriors. What? I signed a contract with you two. You specifically said that you'd kill Trover and the Cherorpion. Fuck you. I guess we're gonna have to go down and deal with this. I'll go first. All right, you go first. God damn it. Shut the fuck up, Gale. Fuck you. What the fuck is wrong with those guys? You can't feel anything. I'm invincible. Whoa. Your puny little sword doesn't do nothing to me. This isn't working, partner. We, we need to try something else. You knocked off some of my armor. It's not fair. You're not gonna get the power babies. There's no way we're gonna let you catch these power babies here. You're gonna die. Trover, you know that just because you might be persevering doesn't mean that you're not a cherist. What? What are you talking about, Gale? You always said Cherorpians couldn't flip around. And that's why they'd never be in gymnasticals in the super special gymnast alien special Olympics. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, I would never. Whoa, easy. There's the truth and then there's other stuff. You're gonna die. You're gonna fucking kill you. Trover, you son of a bitch. Good thing I made for a blackout plan. I'm gonna squirt out a bunch of little cube creatures out of these giant cubes that are up here, and they're gonna kill you. Just because those chicken nugget people couldn't do it doesn't mean I can't, Trover. You're fucked. Initiate little tiny cube monsters. Shields down, cube creatures go. That's it, that's all you got, Gail? I'll get that $720, Trover. If it's the last thing I do, oh, oh, you knock my cubes down, Trova, you're a fucking cherished racist, oh, you're a racist, oh. What are you doing? What are you, why are you screaming, Gale? Uh, because, because I'm, I, I'm defeated, you're gonna knock these cubes down, oh, oh. Green cubes down! Uh, Where are you, Gail? Where the fuck are you? Are you underground somewhere? Uh, fuck you! I'm not gonna tell you where I am! Uh, uh, keep going! Keep going! Uh, 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 oh my god, shut up! <laughs> Jesus Christ, the fucking gossip mongerist. I mean, I mean, all the shit he was saying, you know, all bullshit, you know? One of the most offensive things I, I heard, aside from all the AIDS cum stuff, was that he was calling me a chairist. I'm not a chairist. I mean, one of my best friends was a chair orpian, you know? Uh, you believe me, right, partner? Oh, yeah? My cousin's married to a Cherorpian. To be fair, I met him once at a weird family gathering that hey, I didn't want to go to, him. but, Come you know, they here. were fine, and, and they were married to my cousin. So I'm related to a Cherorpian, so now you who's, help me get out of who's here. cherist now? Who's a fucking cherist now? I didn't do any you know, we're buddies, and we're, and we're friends, and we're prison. partners. Let's, let, let's, let's, let's get a move on. Let's get a hustle on. We gotta get these fucking crystal babies. And then uh, I don't want to be I don't want to be around you after that.
really work to get this one. to get this one good on you yeah I tend to not fuck around when it comes to oh you know what this green power baby wasn't easy to get to thank you I'm proud of you Racist against chair or Jesus Christ, it burns! It burns! Listen, I'm not racist against chair orpians, you know? G Gail's racist against everybody. Of course, a racist would call another person a racist. He's racist against the Carptorians. He used to say that they all had the biggest teeth he ever saw. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, Gail? That's super racist. And he's like, those Carptorians' teeth are so big and weird and like crooked and weird and like get in the way of people who are trying to get on the bus and all that sort of things. And I was like, what are you talking about, Gail? And he said, those Carptorians' teeth are so big that one of them shoved right up my ass. That's what he said. Hey, there's the crystal baby. Straight ahead, 12 o'clock. Let's grab it. F find the other one and get the hell out of here. Whoa, holy shit. That thing just ate the crystal baby. He's trying to eat it! We, we gotta stop him! Hey, nice one, partner! Nice shot, partner! He's gonna freaking swallow it! Holy shit, partner! Nice shot! Yes! You did it! That's what I'm talking about, partner! Alright, now let's go find the other crystal, baby, and get the F out of here! Perfect. Nice nip flick. We should keep our eyes peeled for more of these little green nips to flick, you know? This is nip flip city. Oh, and look at that. Now we're coming out this way. I see you've stolen one of my crystal babies. Well, a lot of good that's gonna do you because you're stuck in here with me. Cause I locked this place up tighter than a little dog it's. By the way, if your intention is to get the second crystal baby, good luck doing that because it's in the my roommate's spot. My new roommate, who who who's a good person and would never do what you the things you used to do. So good luck, and you're stuck here forever. So fuck you. Whatever, Gail. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out. We're gonna figure out our way out of here. I don't think you will, Trover, cause you're a messy little domper. Hey, don't call me that. That's not cool. You never did like being called a domper, did you, Trover? You son of a bitch, I wasn't done talking, I wasn't done talking. Thought you were gonna 
fucking get do something, but you're not gonna do anything right now today. Get him! We went to a team building seminar, now we're invincible. I caught somebody. One Lorcon clone fell back and I caught him. And that's trust. That's what you call trust. We trust each other. Us clones trust each other. I'm gonna fuck you up. You can't spell trust without us. That's what we learned in the seminar. We well, destroyed our encampment in that other world. We had a seminar about trust. We lifted a Glorcon clone above our heads as a group. Because that's trust. We learned about trust. my roommate's room. What are you trying to do come on my roommate's room? He's got work in the morning. That's it. Stop hitting my floating cube screen. Now let me get back to what I was talking about. I'm hiding. I don't want to be near you, Trover, or the chair or This is typical Gale. He would always do this. You never knew if he was home. He'd FaceTime you from the other room. He'd Skype call you from the living room or the kitchen. And it was like, Gale, I'm right here. You could just walk into my room and talk to me. Shut up, Trover. I have social anxiety disorder. I'm afraid of things. You are a horrible roommate. You pissed in my poster. And I'm afraid of you. Yo, you're a weirdo. Just come out and talk to us in person. One time he video chatted me from the kitchen. I was in my bedroom in our apartment. That's because I was naked from the waist down, Trover. My whole shrungle and... You little motherfuckers. You think you got me? You think you figured me out, but you can't, you can't get past the munchkin blood. You'll never get past the munchkin blood. Oh, thank God, partner. I was sick of hearing that son of a bitch. My old roommate, Mr. Liar McLionson. Guy lies about everything. I don't... All the shit he said is a lie. Let's figure out how to get to the roommate spot. Get that other crystal baby and get the fuck out of here. Is anyone out? Please, if you can hear me, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry, I could oh, shit. Yeah. Swallowing any food. I'm so hungry. I could drink cake urine. This is Gail's so roommate? Hungry. Jesus Christ. I, I, I don't mom. know. I think I was a better roommate than oh, this weirdo. So weak. Partner, I, I wonder food. if this guy's got a crystal baby. I can't. I can't. 
food. Please, Man, this was a tough little food. green power baby to get, and you pulled I'm it dying. off. Good work. I'm really dying. I, I'm fucking dying here. I'm for a tasty treat. I really go for a tasty treat right now. Listen, sunshine, hand over the food, quick, smart. Oh my God! Oh, a squirrel must food have is one what away. I need. Oh, a squirrel must have buried this one away. My goddamn food! Oh, I'm so hungry. I can't even write. I'm so hungry. Oh, these words. Oh my God! It's people. Holy shit! You guys gotta get the fuck out of here quick. The guy who runs this place is insane. Relax, dude. We know. We just. No. Don't you relax, dude me. You don't get it. I used to be the same size as you, but look what they did to me. I'm a monster. I came here because I thought it was a zoo, but it's not. Yeah, I know. We, but, we just... But I've been trapped in here for 10 years. I, that's a decade. Look at me. That's the yellow nummy. That's the one I want. I want it now. You nummy num. Give it to me. No, it's gone. Oh, give me a massive break. What was I talking about? Um, oh, yeah. Please? All I want is some yellow num num. Hey, there, 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 grab it, partner. Yes, that's it. That's the one I want. Now throw it in my mouth. Please, don't tease me. Oh, oh. oh num num num. Oh, it's so good. It's so freaking good. Oh, mmm. <laughs> Uh, oh boy. Oh my god, thank you so much. You do not know how hungry I was. Oh, hey, question for you. And you can say no if you want, but would you mind feeding me some blue num num? Oh, I love the blue. No, I want a blue one. I don't want that one. What was I talking about? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, I love the blue num num. It puts yellow to shame. I love the fuck out of the num-nums that are blue. Come on, man, we don't have time for this. We need to find the other crystal baby. Crystal what? baby? What, the crystal baby exhibit is right behind me. God damn it, of course it is. I thought maybe you were sitting on it or something. Tell you what, you toss me one more tasty treat and I'll roll right out of your way. Come on, toss me a tasty blue treat. Come on, man, are you dense? The blue feeder is right over there. Way up there, over there to the... There's one that's a blue one. Chewy, chewy, y'all. Yeah, that's great. No one cares. Now get the hell out of my way. I will. I swear I will. Just as soon as you toss that little juicy bug down there, right into my mouth. Oh, that's sick. You want to eat those? Yeah, that's worm. Oh, that's good stuff. I love them. Oh. 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 Hmm. <clears throat> How come it tastes so good? Yet I feel so bad. This still ain't enough. Papa boy needs to eat. Go to that cliff, the one in front of me. That's where you can activate my num num maker. Jesus, how big is this guy gonna get? Aren't you full already? Good lord, can you just give us the crystal baby? Shut up and feed me. All right, fine, fine, but this better be worth our time. You better not be jerking us around. Whoa! Hurry, I can't take it anymore. I need more, more! That cliff, the one I'm pointing to. Whoa! With my finger. And my dick. Oh! Feed me the numbs. Come on, you gotta use the feeding platform to get me the juicy stuff. It's right in front of me, on the cliff. Oh, hey, look! A butthole just opened! That's a whole a giant butthole that just opened. We can. That's a loose butthole. Let's go in there! Little bastards. Sure. Man, plush Why world is wild. Right, here we are. You gotta do it. Okay, that looks like the Why platform. Why are you doing okay, it? Easy. Feed me the numbs. Oh shit! Look at that. Uh, uh, a little, another button. I, I can get it. Drop me down there, and I'll hit yeah, that. Yeah, the yellow nummy. I want a yellow one. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. oh. 
That yeah. felt real stretchy. There's some blue, blue, blue. I want blue. Stop fighting each other. I need to get the blue. Get the blue. Get the blue. Get the blue. Blue, 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 blue. Oh, I'm still hungry. I'm so full, but I'm so hungry, but I'm so full. Stop fighting down there. Yellow, another yellow. I want it. I want yellow. I want to eat. Ooh, hang in there. What hang the in there, buddy. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh my god! Fake news! Fake news! Jesus Christ! Gail's roommate ate the crystal baby? Well, I wouldn't have ever done that, so I clearly was a better roommate than this character ever could have been. Even though we realized he's not actually his roommate and was clearly trapped here against his will. Well, I hope you're happy. You ruined my zoo, you stole my crystal babies, and you killed my the best roommate I ever had. You may as well have just shit in my mouth and stuck a twig between my little bags, because that's how I feel. The front gates are open, Trover. I'm sorry, Gail, but the entire cosmos is at stake. Oh, 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 woe is me. The cosmos is at stake. Well, guess what, Trover? I'm going to Jamaica, and I'm going to eat pizza nuggets, and I'm going to get lasagna, and there's a lasagna pizza nugget. I told you he was fucking crazy. You believe anything he said? It's all lies. Come, come, AIDS piss. Come, AIDS piss. Come, AIDS... Come, AIDS piss. Jesus. It smells like a dead hooker's mouth in here. Hey, you guys. Yeah, uh, you two over here. Oh, look over oh, here. Crap, partner, there. Where are you? I can't see anything. It's, it's pitch black in here. <coughs> I can barely breathe in here. You gotta get me out. It's like, a, it's like a wet Rusty Robbins in here. Have you ever eaten at Rusty Robbins? That's what it's like in here. L look for a switch or some sort of nipple out there. Oh, oh my god, sweet loving oxygen. I'm downgrade Donnie. Holy shit, I, hey, we know you. I, I mean, we know your brother, Teddy. Oh, great jugs. Please, you gotta get me out of here. They arrested me for downgrading someone, but it's not my fault. I'm downgrade Donnie. It's what I do. Donnie, listen to me really carefully. Do you have your heart medication? My heart medication? Who fucking cares about my heart medication? If you don't get me out of here, I'm going to give you a fucking downgrade. Ha! Oh, oh my god, my heart. I think I'm having a heart attack. Oh, oh shit, he's god. dying. Donnie! Donnie! Oh shit, he's, he's dead. Witness Donnie's death, then write an essay about it for a college application. Okay. I thought it was strange that we had an upgrade guy who was I know what that happy. one does. It opens up that door in this jail cell. God, I can't wait to be free and breathe the fresh air. Feel the warmth of the sun. I'm gonna hop on my hog and just fucking go. This seems like where Mrs. I'm Popsins would hide a green power baby. Just me in the open road, the wind blowing through my hair with all the cares in the rear view mirror. I'm gonna be all right. These green power babies, they don't hide themselves. I was so caught up in the moment, I didn't even realize what we were doing. You know, we we, we just force fed someone to death. It's what he wanted though, right? I mean he died doing what he loves. Hey, you two, come over here. 
Holy shit, I didn't think you guys would make it. Did you find Donnie? Did you find my baby bro? Hey, dude, what's up? Yeah, no, we, we found your baby bro in there, for sure. Why isn't he here? Is he okay? No, listen, I, don't freak out, all right? But he died, okay? He died. He, he He's fucking dead, man. We're all gonna fucking die. No, you bastards! How could you? Everyone in my life is dying. Everyone, including you guys, eventually, and me. Death, it's a part of life. Give it a try. Hey, whoa, man, don't put that kind of stuff on us. He never even got to wear his orgasm donor t-shirt. Why? Hey, partner, let's get out of here before we have to give our condolences. I can't believe my fucking brother's dead. He was the glue that held this family together. <laughs> He was the it. only downgrade guy in the family. What a pisser. My afternoon. Well, that was a stupid fucking level. Remind me never tonight. to come back here again. All right, listen, don't forget to dump off your power babies. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I can't believe that I got another hit point. This is my fourth new hit point. I'm so strong now, partner. I'm so strong and I feel so good. I can't believe it, partner. You got all the green power babies. Despite the fact that we were dealing with my fucking weird old roommate and we were trapped in this bizarre flesh zoo slash prison. I love you, partner. I fucking love you. You got all the green power babies on this level. Boy. Trover, Chair Orpian, tell me you got some good news. Don't let me down. Good news, boss. We got all the crystal babies. Well, tickle my pickle green. If someone had told me that a burnout eye hole monster and a dirty Chair Orpian would be the ones to save the universe. Excuse me, you know what, boss? I gotta tell you, I really don't like you talking about my partner that way. Why is that, Trover? You do it all the time. You little piece of shit. What? No, no, I, no, no, I don't. Yes, you do, Trover. You, just the other day, you called him a lazy lap llama with limp dick little llama legs. I heard you say it. Uh, you're gonna fucking deny it to me right now in my face when I fucking heard you say it? And I fucking saw your lips move when you said it? You little fucking twerp. Now let's save the goddamn universe, Trover. Jesus Christ, look, I, I may have said those things, but it's different now. We're, 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 we're bonded, we're partners. I mean, you know what? We're gonna change the subject. We're gonna change the subject. Uh, we, 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 we got the crystal babies. Let's go, uh, let's, let's go fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, Trover, let's go do it. Whatever you say. I, what, I, I, I don't even care. We're gonna save the cosmos. Take the crystal babies to the abstainers. Plug them <laughs> into their eyes and reconnect them, and then we'll reconvene and... Discuss the next steps. I heard what you said. So listen, you heard a lot of stuff about me from Gail. And, uh, all the stuff Gail said I did, it's true. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I, I'm a different person now than I was, you know? I did used to be cherished. And yeah, I used to pee in the sink. And yes, I, I fucked a shrinkle and a dinkle. But I'm changed. I feel changed since I've been with you and kind of we've been going on doing all this stuff together. I feel different towards Cherorpians, you know? I, you're just like me. We're on another level of friendship now. I'd drink a beer with you at my favorite drinking hole, the Empty Peepers. That's the place in my home world that I love to go to. They know how to deliver a drink right into your eye holes, but I'm sure we'd figure out a way for you to enjoy a drink there too. I'd tell them you're my pal, my Cherorpian pal, and I'd defend your back, because I know they'd all be really cherished towards you, because most of my planet is cherished. But anyways, you're my best friend now. Let's go finish up this shit. We're gonna be done with this, and then you and me are gonna be an Empty Peepers. I really hope the game isn't that short. Oh, jeez. He seems wasted. Oh, man. You know, I've been dying to tell you guys. You know, you know why Glorkon's doing all this, right? It's because of his true love. 
He's been trying to create the perfect recipe of planet combinations to bring about the existence of his dream girl. You know, his true love. What? Yeah, since Glorkon was able to see all the future eventualities, he's engineered the one that would result in, you know, his true dream girl coming into existence, you know? Hicko. Hello, Chair Orpian. Hello, Trover. Please hurry, install the crystal creatures into the drunk abstainer's eyes. I'm not drunk. I'm just talking the truth over here. Uh, <laughs> you know Glorkon's just trying to bring about the existence of his true love. Please, we don't want to hear about it. It's, it's, this is, uh, it's, it, it doesn't matter. He's doing horrible things. He's destroying people and murdering things. Yeah, but it's relatable. It's a relatable motivation for a villain to have, you know. It's... Player, please. Partner, just, you know, go ahead and toss the the crystal creatures into into this drunk abstainer's eyes. Oh, oh I'm, I'm a little wiggly and, and drunk, so it's going to be hard for you to hit the targets because I'm just a little tipsy here, so, but go ahead. Uh, 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 So, so, what, what, what do you want us to do, to, you know, to help you get to be four? What do you think, Dum Dum? Dum? You, you have, have to find two more of the crystal creatures and then somehow get them plugged into Glorcon's eye holes. That will unite the four of us and we will once again be back, normal, and uh, the whole thing, the reunited thing that we talked about earlier in the game. All right, okay, we're going to head out. Good, head out. And as you walk back to the telepod, we'll just go ahead and let you know that... You know, we don't know what's going on. You know, our brains are all amok. You know, it's all muddied. We can't really predict the future of anything right now because Glorcon's out there changing the present. You know, he's doing things and we don't know what the hell those the rippling effects are. We don't even know what he's up to. We have no idea what he's doing, but all we know is it's. we know for sure he's, he's just trying to bring, bring about the, the true love of his life. And, and you gotta just get those special creatures uh, anyways, what do you, what do you, what do you guys want to talk about? We're all talking in one unified voice. We're going to put a special effect on all this so it sounds like three voices, like a flange or a chorus effect or something. So it actually sounds like three characters talking despite the fact that it's just me, one, just me, the voice actor, talking. It's just one voice, but we put a special effect to make it sound like three characters talking at once you know what i'm done i'm i'm done i've said enough who gives a shit about any of this hopefully you're already at the telepod and you've already closed the doors and you've left and we're just talking to ourselves god damn it We will call the video there. All right, Cherorpy and Trover, good work. I see you've uh, got the abstainers all linked up. That's good to hear. Now, you're going to have to get those last two crystals, and you're going to want to go meet my buddy, one of my pals, a fella named George. He's got the next pair of special creatures stored in a secret place, secret planet. He'll probably hand them over to you with little effort on your part. He's a good dude, one of my best pals. And uh, hope you guys, uh, Chair Orpian, you doing, you feeling pretty good? You doing okay? All right, good, that's good. That's good to hear. I'm happy to hear that you're feeling good. All right, get out there and we're getting close. We're getting close to the final part of this whole thing. Boss, I'm feeling a little weird right now because we just found out Glorcon's motivation is just true love. Oh, oh, that makes you feel weird, does it? Does that make you feel weird, Chair Orpian? Yeah, I didn't think it was relatable. Who's ever... Love is a joke anyways. No one's ever felt real love. That's, that's a sign of a sociopath lunatic if you feel love. Relatable, my shoe. You two get out of there, get out of here and go talk to Ch uh, uh, George. You're a bunch of do doofuses. Go, get your work done. George, go talk to him. Take the telepod there. Hurry up. Get a hustle on. Uh, 
weird earth. Oh, hey, what's going on? I'm bathtub guy. Oh, shit. Oh, I I'm so sorry. Hey, partner, I, I don't think this is George. Uh, the telepod might have misfired. Oh, yes, I'm George, but when I'm in the bathroom, people call me bathtub guy. You guys here to play a little midnight shuffle? I mean, listen, we do have big stuff to do, but uh, I, well, I, maybe? What's midnight shuffle? You know midnight shuffle. It's when two consensual adults tuck in their chub, hop in a tub, and sit knee to knee. Yeah, no, I, no, why would we want to do that? Because it feels good. Look, I gotta be at a birthday party in about an hour, but if we hurry, I'm sure we can get it done. All right, look, hey, listen, we're not here for some midnight shuffle, okay? Our boss sent us here to pick up some crystal babies. Oh, shit, well, why did you say so? I know, boss, that SOB owes me 13 space dollars and 15 space hairs. <laughs> he came over one time for a little cream dream action. That's when two dudes turn up the AC really high, then sit in the bathtub full of cream corn and scream their ever-loving ass off. Ooh-wee, it's fun. <laughs> anyway, 12 days go by, and we finally get out of the tub, right? I mean, look at our bodies. Don't disrespect me by touching my duck. What the hell is wrong with you? Okay, 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 right. So what I was saying was, and just as he's about to leave, I go, hey, man. That'll be 13 space dinero. And he's like, 13 what? Then, all of a sudden, Boss takes off running. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but Boss is as agile as a greased baby going down a water slide. So, the only way I'm going to catch him is if I pull out my hookah kooky and give him a whirl of pearly. So, that's what I do. I mean, that in real estate, of course. I've been selling a lot of real estate in Manhattan lately, so that's been working out, but property values are going up the roof. <laughs> so it's hard to find clients who actually want to invest into a property. But I always try to tell them, invest early, because if you don't, you'll be caught in a snowstorm later wishing you had. You don't want to be stuck in an apartment paying $4,000 worth of rent when you could have bought a place on 34th Street for less than that, do you? Ten years down the line, you won't even think about it. But my mother always says, bathtub guy, shut up about real estate. <laughs> but I just keep on talking about it because it's a great investment if you want to make something out of your life. Another great investment, ice cream on Sundays. Trust me, ice cream on Sundays will make you feel closer to God. Trust that because ice cream is sweet. And you know what else is sweet? Church. Church is very sweet. I'm a Christian man, but I don't necessarily believe in Christianity. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> you know, my mother certainly says it is, but I don't let that stop me from getting out and preaching half of the word. Now, I'll grab a Bible, tear out half of it, and then live by that part of the Bible. Old Testament, New Testament, no clue. I just point to a page and I go. A lot of times that ends up being revelations. So I tell people, hey, if it's the end of the world, might as well get into real estate. <laughs> hey, listen, hey, sorry, bath bathtub guy, George, whatever, the world is at stake. Can you just hand over the crystal babies, please? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was being such a nuisance to my two uninvited guests. Look, I'm sorry. We're not trying to be an asshole. Oh, you don't need to try. It just comes natural to you. Okay, I'm sorry. Stuff your sorries in a sack. Well, I don't got them. They're on loan to Tech World. Oh, hey, shit. I know where Tech World is. Fucking Tech World, man. Great. Now, let's see if you know where the door is. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Stop messing with my goddamn duck. Shit, look, I'm sorry, man. Okay. What the fuck are you doing? That's my duck. Put my goddamn duck down. Don't touch the duck. Partner, would you just listen to him? So anyway, messing with my duck again. Motherfuckers, keep fucking with my duck. Look, look, I'm sorry. Now, as I was saying, go on. Get the hell out of here. Let me watch my shows, and if you don't leave after my shows are done, I might... Hey, put that down, mister or missus. I don't know what you are. Put that down. Fuck you, bathtub guy. Partner, you just killed this guy. George, or whatever, bathtub guy, whatever his name is. 
How many innocent lives is this now? Four? Five? Are we even the good guys anymore? I mean, Jesus Christ. As soon as we see an opportunity to kill someone, we do it. Pretty soon, people are gonna just need saving from us. God damn. But you know what? Who cares? Whatever. Let's just let's keep moving this this horse along. You gotta get the look fifty-five for the murder. Let's go to tech world. <clears throat> Take a look at this cool tech world, this gear world. Man, this is gonna be a fun one to explore. I can't wait to dive into every nook and cranny of this cool tech world. No, there's no babies. Looks like they're trapped in some force fields inside of a weird mech machine. Let's go get them. These guys again? You stupid dumb piece of shit. Hey, what the I'm fuck? I'm coming after you. Get him. Oh, look who it is. It's fuck face and shit ass. You're both fucked this time. We're not fucking around. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna fucking murder you. Yeah, you tell him. I am telling him. What the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna fight. I'm, I'm preparing myself to fight. Why are you being so quiet? Oh, I'm not being quiet. Suck my dick. I'm fu that's it. I'm fucking murdering. I'm, I'm in murder. No, Lorcan commanded us to murder you. We are loyal to our DNA father. Everyone shut the fuck up. Get over here, you son of a bitch. Man, those Glorcon clones, bunch of idiots. I, I, no idea how they keep popping up wherever we are. No time to soak in the landscape. We gotta get these these crystal creatures and then figure out a way how to get them into Glorcon's eyes. Whoa, whoa, these gears. Whoa, we're on the gears. Anyways, like I was saying, no time to soak in the landscape. We gotta get these, these crystal creatures and then figure out a way how to get them into Glorcon's eyes. Partner, let's let's get these crystal creatures and get back to the teleport. Oh, great, here we go. I thought they were gonna fucking get to the bottom of it. Uh, get it with the God, I almost feel kind of bad for these guys. Look what I see. Holy shit! Partner, we gotta grab the crystal babies. They're down over by the telepod. We gotta get them and let's get the hell out of here. Ha ha ha! Surprised? It's me. That's right. I, you played right into my hands, you're a couple of fucking idiots. The bomb I planted in your telepod was never intended to kill you or the abstainers. I wanted you to merge the abstainers. You wanna know why? Because of this. With this device, I'm gonna be able to merge a bunch of worlds using, that's right, the power of the abstainers. Now with the crystal babies plugged into my device, they're connected to the other three abstainers. Here we go.
Jesus Christ. <laughs> it worked! And this is just the start. A small machine and just a handful of worlds. My next machine is gonna include the power of your dogs, and it's gonna merge 87 worlds down to five massive ones, all in one fell swoop. Unfortunately, it's gonna kill the other three abstainers as well as your dogs in the process. What a shame. Oh, what a shame. Too bad you're trapped here with no way out, no food, no water, no telepod. All Man. according to plan. And now that everything's all jumbled up, no one's gonna be able to help find you. Good luck, you shit fucks. Suck my little balls. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, jeez, partner! Now we're trapped with no place to go! We're basically like Tom Hanks and Castaway! You know, we're gonna have to live the rest of our lives here! I mean, this is it! Glorcon won! This is horrible! I mean... We gotta focus on survival now. We got we we gotta just let everything. We, forget about the dogs. Forget about you know trying to stop Glorcon. It's Tom Hanks style now from Castaway. Ever see that movie? I mean, you should check it out real quick, and then come back. So we we're gonna have to deal with this. I mean, this we're, we gotta start figuring out where we're gonna get food. We we should start trying to build shelter. Excuse me, we need some help here. Hey, hey, uh, what's, what's going on? Boss sent me out here, said there was some commotion going on, so I uh, came in my Z telepod. Have you heard of one of those? Of course you haven't. It's my fucking telepod. It's the newest telepod. I just cleaned it, outside, inside. I fucking love that telepod. Uh, it's just over there. The commotion you're talking about is just right around the corner. All right, cool. I'm gonna solve this mystery. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. I'm Pink Trover. There's gonna be a whole spinoff of me on this game. I got a story too. I'm Pink. I'm awesome, and I'm gonna figure this shit out. Nobody's gonna fuck with me. I'm pink. That pink fucking version of me, there's a lot of us, has a fucking telepod. You heard him? It's right around the corner. Let's go, hurry. It's our only way out of here. I don't wanna be fucking trapped here for the rest of my life. I'm sorry, Pink Trover. That poor pink trover. What an idiot. What a dummy. Lethal Holy shit. huggers. But also, wow, this is a really nice fancy telepod. I mean, it's better than that garbage we've been using this whole time. I mean, it's got different it's different colors. I think this is a T8000 model. Wow. It's got all kinds of doodads in here. I mean, it looks pretty much the same, but I mean, there's all kinds of doodads in it. I'm on a roll right now. Come on. Alright. 
I'd like to go back to Sleamy World. Trover, Cherorpion, what took you so long to get back here? What were you, playing with your ding-dong? Yes or no? Ah, uh, you were playing with your ding-dong. That's good. It's healthy, it's natural, it's hot, it's sexy, and it's gonna help prepare you with what I have to tell you right now. A bunch of worlds are all destroyed. You know, th th this device is being powered by the abstainers through the crystal babies. All right, y boss, w w what do the abstainers say? I mean, w w what do the abstainers want us to do? We've lost all contact with the abstainers, Trover. The last thing they said to me was, the Glorcon was planning to blow up a bunch of planets in the Tarvo galaxy, which is admittedly very, very far away and fairly inconsequential to us, but still, it's it's just a bunch of crazy bullshit. Wait a minute, so all, all he was gonna do was just merge a handful of worlds together? That's a big deal, Trover. This motherfucker merged a bunch of worlds together, and uh, quite frankly, we don't know if he's gonna do it again. I think he probably will. Well, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are we gonna do? This guy's this guy played us! That's right, Trover, he played you. I, I've been busy playing cards. Now shut the fuck up. L listen to me, I have a plan. We still have the coordinates to Glorcon's home planet. That's where he's keeping his world merging device. That's where his secret base is, and that's where the crystal babies are. The only problem is the planet is being shielded by a giant, impenetrable force field. All we have to do is shut down the force field. It's easy. Well, how do we do that? What, what the fuck? What, what are we supposed to do? Trevor, we gotta blow up Mixed World. Mixed World is powering Gorkon's force field around his secret base planet. You, wanna, you want us to blow up a planet? A bunch of planets that are merged together? Are you fucking serious? You, you hear Trevor, yourself? I don't want to hear any more of this out of you. Cherorpion, do you think you're up for this? Oh, yeah, confident, huh? Real confident. You better be. And quit trying to play with your little ding-dong. This is serious. We gotta save the... this localized area of the cosmos. And you're sitting there trying to play with your little ding-dong in here. Anyway, Glorcon just destroyed a handful of worlds, merging them together, and he created one giant mixed world. That's a problem. He's also gonna kill your dogs, Cherorpion, and the abstainers are gonna die too. I mean, is that enough stakes for us? I mean, you got all that, Trover? You following along here? Yeah, yes, yes, okay, we got it. Okay, on this mixed world, there's a bomb planting site. You're gonna need to plant a bomb in that receptacle. Where the fuck are we, where's this bomb you're talking about? Where, where, where? I'm getting to that, Trover, goddammit, if you let me fucking finish my conversation. In order to get the bomb, you're gonna need to go talk to my good friend, one of the funniest guys I know, comedy guy. He's my best friend, one of my best friends, and he also happens to be a bomb expert. And and he'll tell some hilarious jokes, he'll lift your spirits, his name is Comedy Guy, he has the bomb. So just, whenever you're ready, go ahead and press the button on the telepod and it'll take you to Comedy Guy. And then from there, you'll go to Mixed World. Jesus Christ, what a hot mess. Partner, come on, hit the button. Let's go to Comedy Guy and get this bomb. M maybe we'll hear some jokes, I, I don't know. <sighs> Man, you know, you know, whenever the chips are down, comedy guy's there to get to give you a little laugh and a chuckle. You know, he he always brings a smile to the table. Uh huh. He's, you know, and he's got a good, lovable, you know, rated G type sense of humor, uh, E for everyone tone with his comedy. He's very, but it'll still make the edgiest person laugh because his comedy is so sharp and honed and he's just he's such a light delightful lovable happy-go-lucky character he's always funny and laughing and just having uh -huh. a great time ah. and so it's and he also happens to know a lot about bombs and you know like how to make really ex horrible explosive bombs that could devastate uh -huh. and destroy he, it's a weird coincidence, but it's great. Thank God it's him and not someone else because you need a laugh. Yeah. Things are dark. Things are we're in our darkest days right now. Uh -huh. This is the darkest part, and we need a good chuckle and a smile. So comedy guy's my good friend, and he's good and he's great. It's gonna make you chuckle, and you're gonna get a good laugh out of it. Uh huh. And boy oh boy, I wish I could be there. I wish I could go with you. I I need a laugh too, but I gotta stay back here and man the station. Uh, get ready for when you're, when you when you when you're place when you're done placing all the bombs. I got to get ready for, for to tell you what to do next, because it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. 
All right, I'm gonna shut the door now, Chair Orpion. Make sure your little ding-dong is out of the way. Believe me, you don't want your ding-dong getting slammed in between these telepod doors as it closes. It hurts really bad, and you guys would end up in the space hospital getting your ding-dongs worked on. I can say that from experience. <laughs> Good luck out there, you two. You're my favorites. Man, this is a bunch of bullshit. I can't believe Glorcon played us like he did. And, and all this shit would have happened whether I had been with you or not. I, I, I could have been doing my own thing this whole time, you know? I, mean, I stuck around with you for what? And, and now we gotta blow up a planet? I mean, Jesus Christ. That sounds like what bad guys do, blowing up planets. Uh, all right, look. Let's just check out Comedy Guy's routine, get the bomb, and then go blow up this entire planet. Come on, partner. Let's go. I want to meet comedy guy. I want to get. I want to get my laugh on. I want to collect these bombs and chuckle. Get some chuckles out. I need to get a chuckle out of my system. You've seen his lighthearted comedy on Flame Shack. No, you know him from his silly, family-friendly prop comedy masterpiece, Floppy Props, and he's been a regular on David Letterman for years. Let's give a warm round of applause to Comedy Guy! Oh my god! He hung himself! You know, he, he always joked about it, but I just thought he was doing a bit. Jeez, do you know how fucking hard this has been for me and, and now I have to deal with this? What, what am I, the, the guy from 127 Hours? Did you see that movie? The guy got the shaft. Big rock fell on his arm. This is 127 hours, plus an extra hour. 128 hours of me getting screwed. We were supposed to get a bomb. We were supposed to pick up a bomb from this guy. Where is the bomb? Oh my God, you know, th this isn't my fight. I, di I didn't start this shit. I, I, I feel like Elian Gonzalez right now, remember him? He rode on dolphins and he was involved in a huge international custody battle, remember that? The kid was put through the fucking ringer for doing nothing. All he did was ride some dolphins. You know, this is bullshit. Boss said there's a bomb somewhere around here, where is it? This isn't my war! Fuck this! I just wanted to get high off of some power babies! And, and, and now this? Holy shit, it's the bomb! There it is! There's the freaking bomb! L let's get it and get the hell out of here! The bomb's right there, just pick it up, just grab it! What a bunch of bullshit! Gl Glorcon's merging planets in the Tarvo galaxy. Nobody cares about the Tarvo galaxy. That place is so far away. This is like if, if it were in the very beginning of the game, narratively, story-wise, like the beginning of the game. I may as well be Simon Birch from that one movie. I'm hitting pop flies and killing moms. It's bullshit. Fuck this. Shit. Fuck. It's pretty dark, eh? Son of a bitch! Comedy guy is hilarious. This man. I just want to get out of this place. I don't feel happy anymore. I don't feel good right now. I want to get out of here. Fuck! Fuck, man! This is bullshit. I want to get out of here. Fuck this shit. Look, partner, I, I don't know how to say this, but I can't do this anymore, okay? W w once we blow up this planet, I'm 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 striking out. I I'm getting the fuck out. I I'm not going to Glork on Super Base. I I I I, lo I care about you and 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 I really I want you to succeed and I think you will, but but you're doing it without me because he probably just ripped my fucking head off. Are you kidding? He, he you saw what he did, he played us. And, and I'll help you, and we're gonna do this last thing together, and then it's Bon Voyage for me, you know? We'll, we'll, we'll watch this place blow up from space, and I'm gonna go to Empty Peepers, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hire a couple of hookers. Listen, I'm sorry, partner. Uh, are, are, are you cool with this? Is this okay with you? You understand, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I figured you'd say that, partner. So that's why I've really grown to care about you, you know? And, uh, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but 
I, I, I got to. I just got to. I mean, I got to get the fuck out of here, you know? But we'll do your thing. We'll, we'll blow this place up, and then you'll you'll probably get reassigned a new partner. All right, partner. W one last level, you and me, for for old times' sake, huh? A, a quick little gander at the uh, trophies for this game. Too bad. Oh my god, your world's one of the worlds that got mixed up? Now I feel really bad that I'm leaving you behind, partner, but I gotta do what's right for me, you know? I, I'm i pretty sure you'll get through this whole thing with or without me, you know? Who needs me, right? I, I, I was never important to this whole thing anyways. My world's been merged. This isn't okay. I can't leave my world to be destroyed. I believed in you. Just gonna unmerge his worlds. What are you thinking about right now? I don't know, I'm just thinking about uh, how much I like this world. It's all mixed up. That's not what you were really thinking about. Tell you're lying to me. No, I'm not I'm telling the truth. I was thinking about how I like this mixed up, crazy, topsy turvy world right now. No, you're not. You were thinking about how you want to stuff your leg up my ass. How did you know that's what I was thinking about? I caught you in a lie. You want to stuff your leg all the way up my ass. Yeah, I do. I do actually. I was too shy to tell you. Now, you don't have to be shy about that. We're buddies. We're 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 clones. You know, we're we're the same thing basically. So go ahead. You can stick your entire foot up your whole leg up my ass go ahead well hold on if i stick my leg up your ass does that mean you're gonna want to stick your leg up my ass <laughs> you know it if you stick your leg up my ass that i'm only letting you do it so i can stick my leg up your ass oh well then now i need to think about it because i i wasn't thinking about i'd want a leg up my ass come on we're clones we're supposed to be the same kind of same thing i thought you would be the same thing as me man i just wanted to see what it would feel like to have my leg up some up someone's ass, you know, all the way, all the way to the, the upper thigh. That's all I wanted. Sounds like this whole leg up the ass thing isn't gonna happen, cause you won't agree to let me do it to you. So why don't we just, just do our jobs, which is supposed to be looking for a chair opening and trover in case they show up, you know? Which is probably not gonna happen, cause they're on the other side of this mixed world. Yeah, let's just be quiet and just think about what it would be like if our legs were up each other's asses. Don't let him get in! Uh, Lorcon said you two might show up. He said they were killing you just for killing us. We're gonna fucking murder you. Uh, hey, what the fuck? Uh, 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 oh, fucking piece of shit. Come on, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up, punk. Uh, Geronimo! Look, I like falling, but seriously, we got shit to do. Okay, we're done with that. Let's move. without me you know i know boss will partner you up with the new eye hole monster you know there's schlover the trans uh, uh eye hole monster voiced by an actual trans person no no uh no 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 messing around there 
Oh, wonderful. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here. We're going to take we're going to make sure that you guys don't get any further in this and whatever the fuck you're trying to do. Oh, my nipples are still not pierced. Oh shit. Like I was saying, there's other eye hole monsters. Remember the pink eye hole monster we saw when Gorkon merged all the worlds together? You know, there, there, there's Dover. He, he's uh, he's green colored. He, he's an eye hole monster. The guy, the guy's great. He's amazing. He's a karate expert. But guess what? Big twist. He's Irish. Also voiced by an actual authentic Irish person. We're very proud of that. Um. Boss could also potentially partner you up with Lover, who's uh, a lot like me, but African American and funny and witty and has all these great commentaries and a whole different perspective on, you know, everything. Really good character. Voiced by a white person, though. Just want to give you a heads up there. That one was whitewashed. And I do apologize for that. But anyways, the point is, you're gonna get partnered with a whole new eyehole monster, and you're the real important thing, not not me. Uh, you know, I'm not important. Oh, oh fuck! Hey, buddy. I gotta tell you, man. I feel horrible, you know, I feel horrible about, about not coming through for you on this, but you know I'm gonna walk into that Glorcon base, and the guy's probably just gonna pick me up and rip my head off, throw it across the room. He'd probably kill you too, you know? Are you kidding me? Anyways, like I was saying, I gotta tell you, man, I feel horrible, you know, I feel horrible about, about not coming through for you on this, but you know I'm gonna walk into that Glorcon base, and the guy's probably just gonna pick me up and rip my head off, throw it across the room. He'd probably kill you too, you know? I'm telling you, man, we gotta just stick together and let's just call this whole thing off. Here's what we should do after we're done blowing this place up, because fuck that guy, we might as well do that. We, we, we should use the telepod to go to my home world. Come with me, come to my home world, empty peepers, we'll go to empty peepers, we'll get some drinks, you know, I, I'll convince all of the other eye hole monsters there that you're not, you know, that you're one of the good ones. And that's why I don't want you to go to this through, through with this. I mean, for what? To save your dogs? How old were your dogs? I mean, how how long do dogs live for anyways? I mean, what, what do they what do they have a couple more years on them? Like five years left or something? I mean, come on. Is it, is it really worth it? <laughs> oh! Like, is it really worth it? This. You can figure this out. Uh, uh, well, look out! You guys are dead. I spent okay. the entire time I was stuck in there thinking about Whoa. movie ideas. Oh my god! You guys are dead. 
I'm super genetically modified clone. My armor makes me stronger, faster, and incapable of falling in love. At least, I thought I was. Coming this summer from Froppy Pictures is a story about a smoking hot blind mom who's helping this monster see that the only thing scarier than himself is not being in love. I love you, Martha. I love you too, Gary. Coming this summer from Froppy Pictures. Blind monster, blonde mom. Fuck, I wish that was a real movie. When I was trapped in the cave, I created up that whole movie trailer idea. That's my original idea. And don't you try to steal it. I copyrighted it. I already wrote the letter that I self-addressed stamped to myself with my idea sealed inside. It's dated. You'll never steal my idea. Copyright people, I, I, I'm gonna keep that letter in my drawer. It's guaranteed to tug on your heartstrings, that movie. It's a real emotional love story. It's about a blind mom. And she's really attractive. But and then there's and then there's a monster character who gets her to fall in love. It's a lot like that movie, uh, you know, Toxic Avenger. Uh, except for she's a mom. Well, what the hell? You're doing it, partner. We're having some fun together on this last level that we're gonna be together on. Cause I'm I'm, I'm out of here after this. Can't make it clear enough. The whole world you have. Shit, partner, the thing we gotta plant the bomb into, it's across the lake. Fuck, there, there's gotta be some way over there. Oh my god! Jesus! What in that goddamn hell? How did those two get over here? We gotta murder them! Akana will be very ashamed if, if we don't. If, if he finds out that these two are. are, are, are Receptacle. I'm sick of being in buttholes. I don't want to be in any more buttholes, you know? So, can there's got to be another way across the lake. I'm sure of it. Uh, maybe not. Maybe there's some other way we can get across the lake. I, I just don't want to go inside a butthole. Thank God. Okay, good. Let's not go in that butthole, you know? Let's, let's check. Let's, let's see what else there is around here. Gotta be some other way around. Man, I swear, I just don't want to go in that butthole, you know? I'm gonna think positively that we don't have to go in that butthole to get across the lake. Maybe if we just hang out here long enough, like a, a big, crazy flying bird will show I'm up and we can just climb on its back. Movie. Maybe it'll have like a warp movie, totem uh, on its back, you know? You know? And, you, and you jump uh, me on there and we can both she's a mom. warp onto and, uh, the thing's back and, and it'll fool. fly the across this whole like world. It's a it'll like turn me. into a full I'll open world game. And we'll be able to go wherever we want. And there'll be cars. There'll be cities. Crazy alien cities and cars. And we can steal the cars and murder people and drive them over. And there'll be weird alien police. And there'll be like a wanted system. All that's gonna happen if we just don't go in the butthole it might take a while for this bird to come this alien bird it's like a giant alien bird with hair instead of feathers i mean i don't know i'm, I'm thinking i'm gonna manifest it it's like that book the secret if you just think about something it comes true you know you should read it oh i'm sorry you're going in the butthole Shit, you gotta be kidding me! The fucking bird that I was- 
was talking about. Can you hear it? Jump me out of this butthole. We gotta get out of here. Oh, we're fucking trapped. We just waited another 10 seconds. Fuck! I knew it! I knew I knew I was right about that bird! God damn it! Hey, Could've just gotten that damn bird! Yeah, you know, I, I better let you steer it and fly it all over this whole giant Hello. mixed world. Would've you. turned this game it's into really a dark. huge open world game, or, you know? Probably all kinds of weird I, I, I villages and blind. cities and quest lines and stats and RPGs and potions no, and all you kinds of Polo. stuff. I'm gonna say but we had to jump in this stupid hole. But whatever, it's fine. We're gonna move through a butthole instead of experience what would've been Critics game right, of the Marco. year, 10 out of 10 stars, Polo. or whatever their Marco. score system Polo. is. Instead, we're Marco. down in a butthole. Fucking uh, lucky, lucky to get Marco. six Polo. out of Polo. 10 stars. Polo. Polo. Jesus Polo. Christ, Marco. I really thought the game was Marco. gonna open up. Marco. I thought it was gonna be like, oh Marco. shit, that was Marco. just everything Polo. up to this point was just a just Marco. a little tutorial. Polo. Now we're now we got a Marco. flying bird and a whole Polo. giant mess. Marco, Polo. Oh, these Polo. fucking guys. Polo. Polo, Marco, 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 Polo. Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, 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 Marco, 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 Polo, Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, 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 Marco, 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 Polo. Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, 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 oh, oh, look who it is. It... What the fuck is wrong with those guys? Let's lighten, let's lighten the mood. We're gonna be splitting ways after this, so let's have a good time here for, for this last level that we're gonna be together. Let's get some funny jokes in. What did the wrinkly old dick say to the massive plump butt cheeks? Spread them, spread out. That's a good one, huh? It makes me laugh every time I hear it. What do you get when you mix a cherorpian and a glass blower? A stupid, ugly, dumb fuck who knows how to blow glass. Hey, hey, hey I'm just kidding. We're having fun here. Ah, oh, this is fun. My mom told me I could be anything, so I put her heels on and told her to go clean her room. She grounded me. You think blind people know it's pink lemonade? Murder is a lot like cupping your toenails. Nobody wants you to do it in their bed, but sometimes you have to. Why would a pimp make a good firefighter? Because they know how to work the hose. Jesus Christ! What garbage joke book did we get these from? This isn't even fun anymore. I mean, I'm sorry your entire world got destroyed, but but what? But why do we have to suffer? What did the baby say to the eye hole? Spread them. I'm just rewording old jokes at this point. If you, if you want to hear comedy routine, go to a Netflix special or something. I'm not just some monkey that's here to entertain you the whole time. What the fuck? No, this is Empty Peepers. No, no, this can't be. No, Empty Peepers is on my home world. This means my world got mixed up too. What the fuck? No, it's not supposed to be here. Oh my God. Empty peepers! My home world is gone! Oh my god, Angela, the waitress is dead! She was such a good waitress! She didn't even care if we didn't tip her! This is all Glorcon's fault! This is empty peepers! This is the fucking place! This is where I go! Everyone's dead! It's a, a massacre! Oh my god, it's... It's Ralph! We used to make plastic explosives together! We, we, we didn't even know what we were doing! We would just get a bucket of gasoline and dump styrofoam into it! And, and, and we play with it. He's dead. Oh my god. Empty peepers. Tobias. My mute hairstylist. He's dead. That guy was the best. He, he cut my hair just the way I wanted. He charged me 25 bucks and that included the tip. And he never tried to start small talk because he saw dead bodies when he was a kid. And he hasn't been able to speak since. Now, now where the hell am I going to find another barber like that? He did a perfect cut every t time. My neighbor Candace, who had a big old grandpa dangly dick for a nose. And in order to, in order to eat, she had to tilt her head and to the side and, and just a little bit to get the dick out of her way. 
She was a good-looking girl, too. But it was like, man, why don't, why don't you just get that thing removed, you know? Nose jobs aren't that uncommon. Not that it matters anymore, because she's dead now. Along with everybody from my home planet. My optometrist, Ginger. She cleaned out my eye holes after they got infected from using dirty green power babies. Now what am I supposed to do? Get high off of old sterile power babies like some fucking loser? Murphy's Bakery is gone. I love that place. It was naughty. It was a naughty little donut shop that made the most delectable danishes. It also doubled as an elderly trafficking ring. They'd snatch up your shriveled, schnurled nana and put her to work. Was it ethical? No. Did it make their basement smell like a used urinal cake? Yes. Was it all worth it for the danishes? Yes, it was. But it's gone now. It's all gone. Everyone's dead. Rabbi Brodick! He's dead now, too! We, we, we peed in the water balloons and chucked him at old zoo animals! He said it felt good! I don't know if he meant sexually or what, but he sure enjoyed doing it, and he's dead now, too! Oh, my God! Oh, I'm reeling! I'm reeling! Oh, oh my God! I can't even wrap my head around this! The guy that bagged my groceries! The one with the sideburns! What, what was his name? Patrice? He had the best sideburns! And he's dead now! It was like he ripped off Wilford Brimley's mustache and attached them to the side of it, the sides of his head! Everyone's gone! I, I can't even handle this! Phil Faskin! I don't know why that guy just popped into my head. I, I, I never really was that close to him, but he's dead now! Phil! Gladys is dead now, too! I mean, she was bound to die any minute, but still, she didn't deserve to be wiped off the planet like that! She deserved to die alone in her car, like she was supposed to! We locked her in there! No air, no food, no water! Jesus Christ! Fuck! Oh my god, Doug! Doug, my sworn enemy! The scum of the earth! He unscrewed the Parmesan shaker so that when I used it, it went everywhere! Son of a bitch ruined my ravioli! My lobster ravioli! It was a special of that night, too! It was $25.99 and he ruined it! After that day, I swore in a stack of nudie mags that I'd get my revenge on Doug, and Glorcon took that away from me! Also, I can't prove this, but I think Doug was telling people that I've been soliciting oral sex to na naive tourists. Have you heard about that? It's total bullshit, just so you know. Now all those tourists are dead. Everyone's dead, even Doug is dead. Oh my god, I, I, I'm, I'm upset. This is hurts. It hurts. Aaron, the bus boy at Empty Peepers. Or would she be the bus girl? Whatever, she bus tables and I loved her. We were gonna move to the country together. I'd work the land and she'd tend to the house. We'd grow old together. Until late one evening, I'd return home to find her in bed with Dennis. And I'm into it. I mean, really. I mean, really into it. Maybe too into it. I'm doing her this way, Dennis is doing me that way, and we're all covered in cock snot. But none of that matters now because she's dead. Dennis is dead too. It's all because of Glorcon. Oh my god, I can't even, I can't even, I'm not, I'm, I can't calm down. Oh my god, I just realized that everyone that's closest to me is dead. Then who could I be openly spacist around? I'm not saying that I am, because I'm not. But you know, being ironically spacist, a good kinkle joke every now and again doesn't hurt anybody. Like, what did one kinkle say to the other kinkle during sex? I like cottage cheese and I deserve to die, get it? Because they're kinkles. God, see, this is what I'm talking about. I can't even say this stuff around other people. From 
Frumpies! There's no more Frumpies now! You ever been there? You shop there much? It's a clothing store that has no hangers! Nothing's hung up! Just all thrown into piles on the ground! It's the best! You gotta check it out! What? You can't check it out! All the clothes I owned I got from Frumpies! It's gone now! Fuck! I can't fucking handle this! Oh my god, I can't return that bladeless blender now! The damn thing is just a picture! I don't even know why I bought it to begin with! I kept the receipt and everything! It was, it was ready to go! It was all boxed up! And now I'll ever be able to return it! God damn it! Oh my god, I also never got to use that punch card for one of the free meals at Tony's Tantas! You know what I'm talking about? The chain restaurant where, where men with I, the ideal bodies and low-cut khaki serve you food and say things like, hot enough for you? Do you know how many hot man ham hoagies I had to eat in order to get that free meal? Now it's worthless. Oh my god, I'm spinning. My head's spinning right now. Fuck, I just realized I'm not gonna be able to catch the last season of Naked and Hard. Have you seen it? It's a reality show where they strip down two dudes and stiffen up their dinky dinkles. They drop them off on a deserted island. First dinkle to shrinkle loses. Can you imagine that? Trying to survive all the natural elements while maintaining a daddy dinkle? And now I won't even be able to see who wins a million bucks thanks to that fucking son of a bitch Glorcon. I had space money on that. Oh my god! I'll also never get the chance to meet my biological parents! That's right, I'm an orphan! I don't know if it's too late in the game to be revealing this, but I am! I'm an orphan! Also, I know how to play the clarinet, which you'll never get to witness, because Glorcon fucking ruined everything, and I only play the clarinet when I'm happy and feeling alright, and I'm really good at it too! I can fucking really k kill it on the clarinet! You'll never get to witness my band, Pocket Lady Cramps. We, 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 we were gonna be huge. We sounded like nothing you'd ever heard before. We were like new wave reggae mixed with country and rock and roll and a toddler struggling to pinch one off. And a little bit of gospel music, bluegrass, your grandma's pull out bed, a lactose intolerant man drinking milk, flip flops being worn in a clogged shower and a tired mother going down on a dry water slide. And that's what our band sounded like. Well, that mixed with R&B, New Jack Swing, Sunburnt Siamese twins, a truck driver eating spaghetti on the open road, pop music, four co-workers with amnesia singing happy birthday to each other. <laughs> four co-workers with amnesia singing happy birthday to each other, 1920s jazz, a female deer desperately wanting you to call her back, an Asian woman realizing her farts smell like the inside of a pumpkin, alternative <laughs> Uh, okay. Mixed with alternative rock, soul music, a black man finishing a good book, keys being locked in a hot car, electronic dance, and a wealthy white man unwillingly egging his own house. But you know, at the end of the day, we just wanted to keep it simple and make good music. I almost forgot about my collection of Dad Pants magazine. Gone! Those fatherly fashion mags were the one thing that made me whole. They made me who I am. I wouldn't even will them to my unborn child. I'd rather see the world's greatest teacher light on fire and catapult into a classroom filled with kerosene than to have my dad pants magazine collection destroyed. Capiche? I'm trying to say I'm not happy about this. These are all things that really hurt me.
what are you doing here? How the hell are you guys still around? Get him. We gotta kill him. Killing Get all him. these guys. I'm gonna fuck you up. Uh. Uh. Fucking murdering all these motherfuckers. Don't let me die here. It's really embarrassing. Surf a tree. clones you think we've killed all right we're here we're here at the bomb location just place the bomb in the receptacle oh my god i feel lightheaded right now oh jesus christ just put the bomb in the receptacle partner oh my god this is horrible. Okay, good, you got the bomb in there, all right. Let's keep moving, let's get the fuck out of here. It's gonna blow up at some point. I, I, it's on some kind of self-timer thing, I don't know. Oh my God, oh, Jesus Christ. I feel sick. I don't feel good right now. You don't understand what I'm going through. Maybe you should jump off a cliff. Like in real life. Just kidding, I love jumping off cliffs. think that uh, the Chorpion and the uh, little purple eye hole monster are gonna make it way the fuck over here on the other side of this mixed world that Glurcon created? Man, I don't know. What do I look like? Uh, Houdini? Mr. Uh, knower of all stuff? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. You should be sorry. Fucking bullshit. You pissed me off when you fucking put me on the, on the block like that. Hey, man, don't talk about blocks. What do you mean, don't talk about blocks? I mean, that's disrespectful to all my friends. I had a lot of friends that are blocks. Are you talking about your fucking toy blocks? Yeah, I am. Well, listen, you shouldn't talk about talking like that. Because when you talk about talking like that, it's fucking disrespectful to everyone who talks. Fuck you. No, fuck you. Just take it easy. Everyone, just take it easy. What do you mean everyone? There's just you and me. I mean you and me. Let's just take it easy. Oh, man, I, I've been wanting to take it easy ever since we got positioned, potioned, stationed here i mean yeah me too i just want to take it easy man i just want to chill and hopefully we won't have to see any combat you know yeah man i just want to chill out oh uh, oh yeah oh well what are you doing oh, 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 oh. i'm pretending like i'm sucking a big carrot like deep throating a carrot man that's cool yeah i know there's not even a carrot here either so i'm pretending to do it man that's cool here hold my hand no i don't want to hold your hand that's gross why we're the same we're like we're like related. We're brother and sister. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not your sister and I'm not your brother. I'm your clone partner. All right, fine, we're clone partners. You're right, we shouldn't hold hands. All right, anyways, let's just be quiet and hang out and chill out. Oh. 
Fuck them! <laughs> Fucking sons of bitches! You know what? Fuck it! Forget it! I'm sick of remembering all this! What the fuck? I'll fuck you up! kill him now I just need to calm down just I just I just kind of processed a lot of stuff kind of just I just need a moment just to be quiet mourn the loss of my planet and all my all the all the eye hole monsters on it I'm sorry for your loss Trover This sort of fill you in on what I was thinking back there. When I found out that Glorcon wasn't going to destroy the whole cosmos, I, I, I was sort of thinking, you know, shit, this is this is my ticket out of here, you know? I, I don't need to worry about this. And when I saw that my whole planet was also clumped up with this other world and destroyed and everyone I know and love is dead, I mean, that kind of really sort of turned the key for me. So, not to state the obvious, I mean, we, 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 we both just did all this together. I mean, you already know this. So you and me, partner, we're gonna fucking save your dogs. We're gonna avenge the death of my planet and all the people I knew. And I'm gonna fucking murder this Glorcon guy. You're gonna help me do it, partner. Let's have a moment of quiet, because we're almost there. And I'm fucking pumped. I wish I could just... Go back to the first level, considering I fucking I nailed it the first time. Any second now, this place is gonna blow. You ever play Tonky? That's where you rip someone's head off and you just kick it around, just kick it around like some. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh fuck! Oh Jesus Christ! There it goes! Wow, that that gave me a startle. This must have taken a long time to animate all this. Oh god, here we go. Hey you guys, good work. You blew up Mixed World. Took care of that business. Guarantee you, uh, Glorcon didn't see that coming. Anyways, how was Comedy Guy? Didn't get to ask you about that. How great was he, right? Comedy Guy's the best. I can't tell you how much I cherish that man. He is a gift. He really is. He's a gift to all people. Wait, 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 what? You, you guys are acting weird when I talk about Comedy Guy. What's what's going on? Uh, nothing. He's, he's great. He's... Comedy guy really was the best. Is that so? Uh, Chair Orpian, what, what, what did you think of comedy guys? Trover telling the truth, it, was he pretty great? Anyways, I was able to triangulate the coordinates to, uh, it'll take you right to the inside of Glorcon's base. You guys have done good. You really worked hard. Chair Orpian, you impressed me. Wasn't quite sure what to make of you at the beginning. But you really, you got a bunch of upgrades, and I'm really impressed and proud of you. And Trover, what, what do I say? You know, you, you're a good employee. You're a work for hire, but you really put 110% into the job. Uh, you got upgrades yourself. I'm proud of you. Good work. Uh, you know, on your guys' funerals or gravestones, I'm going to put some real encouraging words if you die, if you Partner, don't make hit the it. Button on the let's, so don't let's worry go about that. I'll take care of that. I'll wrap up some nice obituaries. You guys are great. You did good work. 
You're good people. You're, uh, you're heroes. You're the heroes we need. You're the heroes we deserve. Um, you know, you're wonderful. You know, you're great. I don't know. <laughs> I could go on forever. You guys just... I just want to make sure you got to... Listen, get out there. You Look, you got to do tough. You got to be tough. You got to be strong. You got to get... You got to take it where it... You got to hit it where it, where it counts. You got to knock this guy down where it counts, you know? You got to do this thing. You got to knock it where it goes. You got to kick it where... The, kick the can in the slot. And by that, I mean you got to finish this job. You, you, you can do this. You guys are good. You can do it. You can do this. You're tough. You're tough cookies. You're tough customers. Are you still in the telepod listening to me? Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna go through a recipe. There's a great recipe for delicious meringue pie. The secret, not a lot of people know. Actually, never mind. I'm gonna talk about hard boil. How do you hard boil, how do you do, how do you soft boil an egg? How many minutes on the stove? People, a lot of people say four minutes. Well, that's not, it's too soft. You want a runny yolk? How about that perfect in-between? Not too runny, not too hard. That's a nice solid seven minutes. But you don't want to put the egg in before the pot is boiling. You want to get that pot up to a nice boil. Once it's boiling, you put the egg in, and then you do seven minutes clean. Maybe six and a half, it depends. Are you up in a higher altitude? Then don't ask me, I don't know. Don't look at me about that stuff. I don't live in a high altitude. Anyways, oh, oh, you read any good books lately? Jesus Christ, he is lit off his fucking ass. All right, partner, listen. I don't know why you sat through all that. Let's hit the button and let's go to Glorcon's base <laughs> and let's kick some fucking ass. You know what I mean? We're gonna rip his fucking head off. Can I go back to Sleamy's world? Alright, you ready for this? We're gonna go in there and we're gonna do it together, partner. Alright, let's go. It's all locked up. Of course we weren't gonna be able to just walk in here and... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on, I hear something. these images of Glorcon's true love and analyzing the eight buttholes and the seven vaginas and the 17 rock hard penises. Enough already. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe we should, you know, controlling. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I, I can't stop looking at it. I just can't stop looking at it. I find myself oddly attracted to this giant mound of flesh. Listen, guys, we gotta get serious. We can't just stand here and stare at this thing. We should probably be patrolling every square corner of this room that we are currently in. Just in case the pure and the purple character show up. Archon told us they might be on their way here. I don't care what Glorcon said. Look, call me a Glorcon clone. Call me somebody who shares Glorcon's DNA. But I'm a little... I'm sitting here looking at this sex beast creature. And I'm getting... I'm getting all riled up, you know? And I, uh, I'm having a good time interpreting this, this this image. Okay, okay, you're right, you're right. Just gonna hang out here. We'll, we'll, we'll all just look at the picture as long as we all agree to be quiet. So we can all have our own intimate experience and moments with, with, with this... With, while looking at this art. Okay, I, I, I agree. I opt into this agreement. I agree as well. I'll just stare at this no, art. I'm trying to look at the art. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll be quiet now. Everyone just be quiet. You be quiet. We're all gonna be quiet. Okay, starting now. That's work. Shit, there they are. You're here. Too low. We'll get a certificate if we we'll get a certificate. If we stop them, we'll get a certificate of achievement. Take a look at that. Glorcon's true love. Huh. Can't really see all the dicks or any of the boobies or, you know, the buttholes from this angle of the artistic rendering, but I can see enough to make a judgment call. What do you think, partner? You, you uh, you attracted to that? 
Oh my god, really? You gotta be kidding me, partner. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If I was gonna merge a bunch of worlds together and cause all this havoc, I'd need at least a hundred more rock-hard, diamond-cutting dicks, at least ten more boobies, testicle sacks with three testicles in them, twelve more vaginas, fifty-seven tight buttholes, a bunch of man nipples everywhere all over it, more hair on the sides. Anyways, let's get moving. We gotta kill this son of a bitch. We gotta murder Glorcon and get your dogs back. We're at the end of the game. Look, I'm not going over here by myself, come on! No, I didn't try. Hey, what the hell? I was listening to my music, get out of my room! You guys shouldn't be in my room, this is my room! What? What are you talking about? Where the fuck is Glorcon? Are we on the right path? Are we heading towards Glorcon? Get the fuck out of my room! You don't know what it's like to be a Glorcon clone. You don't know how hard it is out there. You don't know what it is. Oh, all right. The electricity sparks are uh, lethal. That's good for us. I was sick of listening to that. Okay, let's let's keep going. We gotta figure out. We gotta get this door open. Closer to Glorcon and this and me slitting his fucking throat open. <clears throat> yeah, do it for my puppies. Shit, partner, I think this might be it. And we're gonna get your dogs back, and everything's gonna be saved, and we're gonna save the whole universe. And 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 I love you, partner. I didn't want to say that before, you know? I know that's a lot to say. I love you. It's a it's a big thing to drop on a partner. I love you, partner. Anyways, whoo boy. Before we get it's into long the hallway here. final fight. This is a long fucking hallway. God damn. It's awkward, you know? It's awkward when you tell somebody you love them, you know? It's, it's an awkward situation we're in right now. Let's just hurry up and get to the fucking Glorcon. Oh, there's the exit. Okay. We're here. Well, well, well. It's Trover and the Cherorpion. You dare fucking enter my... Chamber? My special chamber? That's right, you piece of shit! You fucking murdered everybody! You murdered my home world! I murdered all kinds of things, and I don't give a shit. I had my good reasons for You're it. You're a fucking pervert! You're a sicko! I'm not a pervert or a sicko. I'm a hopeless romantic is what I am. We're gonna murder you is what you are! Unlikely. I've saved my best Glorcon clones to protect me here in my inner sanctum. Glorcon clones, attack! Oh shit! We gotta kill him! Uh, Come on, partner! <laughs> I knew I was in love. I couldn't stop obsessing about that path of the future. And I knew the only way that it would come into existence is if I manifested it by breaking free from the abstainers, merging worlds, bringing life to my true love, my giant, 12 butthole, seven vagina, beautiful flesh beast of love. You're fucking gross, man! Something's wrong with you! Destroy both of our homes! You fucking fucked it all up by destroying the merged planets. Now I have to find other planets to merge them together. It's gonna cost my true love at least two buttholes. It's fine, my true love will be a little bit different, but at least my true love will still have all those diamond heart penises. All 18 of them. Diamond heart, rock heart, penises, always hard. Never get soft. Actual bones inside of them. That's why I'm merging these worlds in a specific way that I am. Because once these worlds are merged, and those worlds are merged, then I'm gonna get some life from those worlds, cross-pollinate it with life from these worlds, and then merge a couple of more worlds. And before you know it, one, two, three, my true love is here. And my true love is ready to go, ready to support me, ready to care about me, ready to love me in a wholesome and comforting way that I've never felt. And also, those 18 rock-hard penises and 13 vaginas, who's gonna turn their nose up at that? That's just the icing on the cake. My true love is thoughtful, deep, a 
affectionate, pink-skinned, knows how to move those hips, all 15 of them, and also persistently wet, and dry in the places that you'd like them to, like on the balls. You realize you've murdered countless millions of, 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 of creatures? That was gonna happen anyways. Comets hit planets. Go cry about it. Fuck! What the fuck? Why are the why are the pylon shields off? Glorcon clone! God damn it, you fucking gl gl goddamn clones! Uh, what the fuck? We gotta up our game! Holy shit, partner! We're getting to him! We're getting to him! Come on! Hey, what the hey, fuck? Uh, oh, shit. Uh, Holy shit! Holy uh, shit! <laughs> idiots this is this 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 chamber is so much more difficult than the first chamber this is my fallback safety chamber in case of emergency and now you're fucked because i've got extra more difficult glorcon clones and there's no fucking way you're gonna be able to take out my pylons that power my fucking protective shield that protect me and you're fucking dead now i'd like to talk a little bit more about my one true love Partner, there's gotta be a way to do this. I swear to God, I, I, I have a feeling it's sort of building on what we just did in that last room. There's gotta be another one or two of those fucking power orbs in here. Fuck you, you little shitbags. There's no fucking power orbs. And Glorcon clones, I swear to God, if anyone accidentally drops a power orb in here, I will have personally executed. Power orbs in the power orb section of the castle. You understand? We understand, Glorcon. No power orbs will be entered into this part of the castle right now. Uh, we have our best clone. Currently moving the power orbs into another section of the castle. Oh shit! I hit the wrong lever. There goes another orb. God damn it! You fucking idiots! Fucking Glorcon clones! I imbued you with super intelligence. What is going on here? Fuck! Listen, Trover, Jerorpia, don't fucking touch that goddamn orb. Glorcon clones, protect that power orb. Don't let him fuck with it. Kill Trover. Kill the Jerorpia. But Trover first. It's important. Keep dropping these orbs into the pipes! Keep dropping the orbs? You got it, boss! Turn the pipes off! Don't use them at all! Why do we even have this system? I'm really sorry, uh, Glorcon. Um, I deeply apologize. I don't know what happened there. Shut the fuck up, you fucking idiots. Uh, I'm... I'm just gonna clear my head. I'm behind my protective shield. I'm safe. We're gonna kill these idiots. This is absurd that we even let them come this far. I just want to think about my one true love. That kind of centers me. Oh, my one true love. What we will do together. We're gonna go to the beach. A crazy alien beach resort. They're gonna have a giant blanket. I'm gonna make sure of it. Giant Terry Cloth Tower. I'm gonna lay it on the beach. We'll back the truck up and unload my one true love. Make sure the truck is nice and greased up so my one true love slips right out as the truck lifts up and dumps my one true love onto the massive Terry Cloth towel that'll be on the beach. And then that's when we'll order our drinks. And we'll cheers them. And we'll have a giant umbrella, beach umbrella. And, and we'll just talk about the future. How many kids do you want to have? Oh, I don't know. How many kids do you want to have? Is the sand bothering you right now, babe? Yes, it is, sweetie. I'll lick it off of you. And then I'll lick the sand off. Oh, God, it's actually everywhere. But why does it taste like sugar? Why does it taste so delicious? And why am I swallowing it all? Because we're on the beaches of Glucosius with the sugariest sand of any world. And by the way, guess where that world came from? Me. I created it by merging a bunch of worlds together. You fucking idiots. You think your piddly little fucking shit is more important than my fucking future that I'm creating? Kill these fucking cocksuckers. Kill these fucking assholes. Kill these pieces of shit. Since you guys are here and you're about to die, there's no reason for me to be all angry. I mean, I'm about to get what I want, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just talk to you like I would talk to some of the Glorcon clones I hang out with in between working on creating the existence of my one true love. And you know, some of the stuff we talk about is like, uh, you guys ever you guys ever heard of Clonefeld? Clonefeld. I, I, I actually cloned some Glorcon clones, and I said. Go, go start it. There's a whole wing to this castle. Go start a studio, green screen, you know, build sets, and make me some TV. And one of the first things they did was Clonefeld. I am getting sued up my ass right now for Clonefeld by another planet. It's called Planetfeld. The whole planet. 
that has dedicated its entire commerce and tourism and all that stuff all around, you know, the whole Feld thing, which, which sucks. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? God damn it, my highest ranking- No! You've gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah. Fucking Glorcon clones, up your fucking game! Coming for you, Glorcom. Holy shit! Partner! We're getting to him! Holy shit, partner! We're, we're, we're doing it! <laughs> now you're really fucked. This is my most treacherous chamber of all. Partner, we gotta lay into Glorcom! Now's our chance! We gotta hit him! Well, you know, I never thought I'd be this good. calm watching the two of you stand before me and just get the shit kicked out of you. Ugh, son of a bitch. Partner, try to get your dogs. Ugh, dead pets. Fuck, <laughs> goddammit, fuck. No, no, shit. Partner, we're doing it. We're doing it, partner. <laughs> oh, 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 you really want your little dogs back, don't you? You fucking idiot. Ugh, ugh. Partner, no, <laughs> no. You've got to be fucking kidding me. God damn it, you weren't supposed to get this far. The toughest Glorcon clones I've ever made. I saved them for this room. Fuck Their hit points are out of control. It's fucking crazy. The level of difficulty is wild in here with these Glorcon clones. And you're fucked. Oh, my one true love, please. I will, I will, I will, I will see you in the future. I will, I will. Fucking Glorcon clones, up your fucking game. I can't believe how stupid you guys are coming in here trying to kill me. It just makes me chuckle. Precious Glorcon clones are gonna come after your fucking ass and rip you to shreds. Glorcon, this is, uh, this is lead, uh, Commander Clone 716. I just wanna let you know, you got all the power orbs away in their special power orb section of the castle, so I just wanna let you know that's happened. Hey boss, they told me to bring an orb in. Uh, where do you want it? No, what the fuck? No more orbs! You. That's it! Enough with this fucking Glorcon clone incompetence! You're all dead! If I see a fucking Glorcon clone into this room, I will fucking personally kill them myself. As for you, purple eyehole monster, if you want something done right, you gotta do it your fucking self. <laughs> How about no. that, Chair Orpian? You fucking idiot. Now your little purple friend is dead. Ripped his fucking head off. Look at. Oh, ow, fuck, god damn it. Oh, I fucking hurt. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's like if I got shot by uh, one of those little foam dart guns. I didn't even feel that. You're dumb. You're fucking dumb and also... Oh, fuck you. Anyway, wh wh where was I? And I don't fucking need to sit here and fucking worry about you or worry about anything else because I can just handle this shit on my own. I'm incredibly powerful. I don't know why I was leaning on these stupid Glorcon clones this whole time. They're the worst. Look at him. Look at your little partner. Look at him, Chair Orpian. Look at your partner. Look at how fucked you are. I want you to think about how I'm a winner and how I fucking kicked your ass. You gotta be fucking kidding me, you fucking sociopath. You fucking used your friend's decapitated head to take the shields down around my world merging machine? What the fuck is the matter with you? That's fucking disgusting and sick. Anyway, wh wh where was I? I want you to think about how I'm a winner and how I fucking kicked your ass and I just done killed your fucking partner and this whole thing just flipped around on you and shit's all crazy and topsy-turvy now because what are you gonna do? What the fuck are you gonna do? Sit there with you in your chair? Ah, oh, fuck you. Oh, no! 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 Ah, oh, fuck! Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, the fucking abstainers! Ah, oh, god! No! No! This isn't supposed to happen! My one true love! 
No, all the dicks and buttholes! Oh, 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 oh. As if he just killed Trover. <laughs> Your stupid friend ripped his head right off, like... On tonight's broadcast, love, happiness, and euphoria. Chills of absolute pure bliss running down your body. That's on tonight's forecast for today. You're watching the All the Time channel. This is the All the Time show. Oh, ah. You feel that euphoric feeling? Oh, ah. We're all united. We're all connected. We're all one. Mm, oh, man. Ah, oh, Job. Ah. Oh. Oh, man, I'm feeling it all up and down my little baby spine. Oh, 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 all right. We're going to go to test pattern for a little bit. Because I got to, listen, who cares, you know? Everything's cool. We're going to go to test pattern. We'll come back in a little bit. It's me! It's Trover! Oh my god! You have no idea what's going on! I mean, holy crap! I f I, let me tell you something. I feel like a gazillion bucks right now. My whole body is all tingly. I feel all euphoric and... Oh god, you feel that? There's your little pup-pup guys. You're reunited with them. They love you. I guess We're we all buried together, man. Here, the I'll lead. Let the boss tell you. He's right where outside. Come on. Because right everyone here. I'm tell you in the cosmos is dead. I'm cool. That probably cool. would have been the headline. Oh. But oh. Oh, God. I feel think of it. euphoric. Oh, Jesus Christ. Everything's euphoric, partner. Come on. This is great. Partner, you want to go check? Check it out. Everyone's here. Message one. Everybody's here, partner, and they're all super excited to see you again, partner. All right, well, let's go. Whenever you want to go out, part. Trover. Oh, Cherorpian. Oh my God, I feel so good. Everyone's dead. The entire universe, the whole cosmos. You know what? I bet killed everyone, but it's great. Because everyone's here, everyone's happy. This, it, this place, it just feels good to be here. Everyone's united. We're all on the same page. There's no more fighting or any trouble. And it's and we're all in this weird afterlife world. And we're 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 united together. And it's wonderful. Come, come when you get a second, come out here and come say hi. Come out into this cloudy wonderland of joy and come talk to everybody. Glorcon's even here. Everyone's here. It's great. Uh, oh, oh, I love it here. Oh, what a great ending. Oh, this is the best ending of any video game oh, I've ever seen. Oh, oh, there's never been a better ending. <laughs> oh, you're taking off? Okay, I, I can't be, believe be how right beautiful here. this place oh. is. Oh, oh, oh. You see how beautiful it is? Oh, man. Oh, I'm lucky I got here a little bit before you. Oh. Oh, hey, it's you too. Remember me? You killed me at the beginning? I was the first person here. Thanks to you, I made it just in time for the Afterlife Early Bird Special. Two eggs, two strips of bacon, toast, and an over-the-pants hand job by a blind milkman. To be honest, the eggs were a little cold, and my beef baton feels like it's been rubbing up against an office carpet for the better part of the day, but who cares? I just fucking love it here. It's so awesome, and it's euphoric and nice, and oh, I'm just gonna shit right here. Ah! <sighs> Get it all out. I love it here. 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 It's a fork and nice. Oh, oh, oh baby. Oh, oh wow. I'm my puppy. Uh -huh.
Hey, how's it going, you guys? Oh, I feel like such a bonehead. I am so dumb. I can't even, I can't believe what I was up to. Oh, boy, you know, being killed and elevated to this incredible afterlife world where I'm sh I shed all of my earthly desires and, and things. I now see that I was just acting like a lunatic and all of my motivation was absurd and I, I it was all just crazy. Now now I, I can see that now very clearly. And I oh man, this afterlife guys, world. I'm so sorry. Uh, I apologize. Oh God, yes, it feels so good, you know? We united oh. again, the abstainers, and we, we're just gonna abstain and chill here and we all feel very good and excited. And we're oh happy. hey, we're it's you guys. Oh man, let me tell you something. I am so clear headed and happy in this crazy afterlife world. I can't even tell you about it. You know, thank God you killed the villagers. What good, bad, indifferent, wrong villagers, right villagers, doesn't even matter. You brought them here. They, they've been here hanging out. They're great. I, man, I feel good here. Love it. Oh, yeah. I've never felt that way. Oh, hello, where, where was I? You know, thank God you killed the villagers. It's incredible. I'm so happy. Bad, indifferent, wrong villagers, right villagers, doesn't even matter. You brought them here. Oh, all right. Oh, talk to you soon. Oh, welcome back. Where was I? I now see that I was just acting like a lunatic and all of my motivation was absurd and I, I was all just crazy. Yeah, now, now, right. I Man, I can't. This is this is amazing. Like this is. I feel whole and complete too. Now that they mention it, I feel a little high. Like I'm on some sort of drug that the big pharma might be peddling uh, to the masses right now. It's coming out And boy, it just is great. I feel wonderful and euphoric and great. You know, and I feel connected to everybody. Why are you taking so long? Why are you doing this with your life? What are you doing with your life? Jeez. Produced by the Irritable Brad Syndrome.